All right. Oh. I guess so. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Whatever. You guys can move over if you like. What's going on, everybody? No, we're not a Star Wars show, but we did decide to do something a little bit different. Next week, we're going to go see... What the fuck are we going to go see? Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. And so this time, since Anthony hasn't seen The Last Jedi since it came out, and it's, you know, the one before Rise of Skywalker, we are attempting to do a viewing podcast of sorts. A watch-along. A watch-along. Yeah. So we just started it. So if you're really interested and want and want to see what that would be like, watching The Last Jedi while we're watching it, while you're listening to it, and we're going to be commenting and talking about news and stuff like we regularly do. Regularly do. Um, yeah, you can do that. Titles. This is the one where it starts off. What does it start off? Ray found Skywalker? Anyways. Uh, yeah. I'm G. With me is Vass and Anthony. Hello. What's up? And uh, we're about to start this movie. Again, we're going to be talking about some news. We're going to be talking about a whole whack of things while we're watching this thing. So very experimental. Also... After a year or so of talking about it, I finally caved and got the Zoom H6, so we're recording on a different device. I'm really nervous. I know this thing's super badass, but in my hands, anything can happen. Mm. Um, That's it. Whoa. Whoa. By the way, I hope you guys are having a good week wherever you're at. You know what? I'm really hoping this movie's better than I remember it being. It probably won't be. It has its moments. I fucking hated this, just for record. I despise this movie. Every aspect of it? This or? literally killed the hype for Star Wars for me. Like, this was the point where I just didn't care anymore. I think there was enough moments that I'm okay with it. I don't hate, but I get it. The Force Awakens was really good, though. I liked that a lot. Oh, yeah. That was a game changer. Fuck. And then, yeah, I remember Rogue One, where we went with uh, Nick and G and my brother mm-hmm. to IMAX. That was crazy seeing it in IMAX. Yeah, but then we also didn't have the best seats in the world either. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that Star Trek joke and how I shouted out, that's from Star Trek? No. The guy right before the movie started, he's like, live long and prosper. And everybody's oh. kind of like chuckling. And I'm like, hey, that's from Star Trek. Hey, wait a minute, you guys. This guy's a phony. Hey, everybody, it's a big phony. Did you guys find out what, uh, what day that, with well, a release date for... Uh, flashes. They said that it finally got a release. Twenty twenty one or twenty two. Wow. The fact that it's moving forward at all is surprising. They like, like this like week. It was like it's a go. And oh, also okay. Shazam is coming out. No, they announced number a two. lot of movies. They announced number Shazam two. Not been paying attention for twenty twenty one. Yeah, for twenty twenty one, they have four movies coming out. There you go. Batman's one of them. Shazam, I think. Yeah. Fucking. What do you call it? Flash might be twenty twenty one. You know, if they would establish him as being funny in the first one then I would have been okay with it like with this sequence this of character, jokes character Poe yeah yeah Poe was a very serious in the beginning and now he's like kind of jokey but you I haven't seen the first on. one in a really long time so you want subtitles on might be helpful <laughs> sure and this guy was a bitch oh that's General Hux yeah General Hux was a bitch and I'm not taking it back General Hugs. that's his actual name oh yeah not very fitting for the Star Wars necessarily, but it feels but like I didn't a Marvel. Mind movie. this, You'd I like thought this thing. was funny. It was just like it was okay. It's just a little out of place, like and not out of place for Star Wars. Just because like they never established Poe to be that funny, or mm. again, I just may not remember him to be as funny. Mm. It's really weird how in the past like five years Disney's always had a cute character. Mm. Like it was BB-8. Then it was Baby Groot, and now it's Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is yeah. beloved by all. And I, I think Baby Yoda is the best out of them all. 
Really? Yeah, BB-8 second, and then Groot is last. Really? Why is I do Groot not find last? Groot cute. Because I guess I just hated Guardians too. Unjustifiably, but yeah. But yeah, and I guess yeah. just probably that's just like I don't find him like his design unattractive. I just don't find him like that cute. So maybe it's just like my hatred for that movie mm. has made me like just dislike him. Also, your hatred for that movie is unjustified. Yeah. Well, I will never know because I've only seen that one once. Well, that's your problem. You hated this one. And you're watching it a second time. Yeah, but I'm open to this one. Hmm. I'll open. I'm open to Guardians too. I just have to see it. If this format does well enough. Maybe we could we'll do that. We'll just do a string of these types of podcasts. We'll yeah. just go like through the whole MCU. One, once a month we'll <laughs> once a month we'll watch a movie and just do commentary on it kind of. Yeah. In a Probably. Way. Oh the no. A few no. times where you can watch during or talk during a movie. Eh? Yeah. Well, exactly. See, this is what I do most of the time anyways. Hmm. Or on your phone. Or on my phone. Yeah. Naturally. Fuck. I've never really watched I've never watched a movie on my phone before. Oh, all the time. All the time. A full movie? It depends where I'm at. I've The closest I ever got was my PSP, and I actually bought the movies that came in PSP form, oh, yeah. and like the, the discs or whatever. Those are How sick. much would movies cost if you bought them on disc for PSP? I think they were like 25 bucks. That's fucking weird. That's like the average cost. I still have some, too. Hmm. Yeah. That thing was dope. The PSP you failed. Really didn't get, you never got any less of a movie. You just bought oh, it. Oh, no, it's just so format. weird, like the same format, like, but... Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of format, if you guys absolutely hate this format, you can email us, or obviously you're probably just send gonna us stop a listening. letter. Yeah, send me a letter, please. See, Poe here's just obsessed about the dreadnought. It's like Hulk with the big monster. You know, big monster. This is Poe's big monster. Yeah, I think um, I think Poe just needed to chill a little bit, but mm-hmm. there's also that underpinning of that they purposely hid information from him so that they can come across as geniuses after and it's like yeah hey guess what if you would have just fucking said something mm-hmm. we wouldn't have had this issue to begin with i would have chilled out yeah uh, like one side conversation mm. like psst, hey yeah this is what we're doing it's called communication yo communication so yeah. boys in exactly seven days i will be seeing star wars you yeah just you just you well with like the cast or i guess with like my co-workers but uh, oh you're going oh, yeah. to the night it's show Thursday, i right. think so i may as well like we're going friday yeah you yeah. should that's a good idea yeah, yeah. see these okay. these types of movies i'll i'll usually watch a few times in the mm-hmm. weekend well it'd be nice because like you know i was divided after seeing this one yeah so like if i'm divided after seeing the last one i'll be able to go in the next day and be able to have mm-hmm. a second day thought yep that's always the best maybe you should have done that with guardians too yeah. before we made our master mcu list Meh. Not okay. Until you ruined it. I did see Endgame six times, so that was pretty good. In theater? Yeah. Nice. I only saw it uh, twice? Thrice? Twice? Yeah. Two times? I've still only seen that one once. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's why I made that comment in our chat for yes. you to, like, grow up. Or what <laughs> was it? Grow up or... Uh, what did I say? It was just grow- man up and watch the fucking movie or something. That, yeah. No, stop being... Uh, what I think I said stop being a tosser. <laughs> I've been yeah. watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay lately. So. <laughs> we were we were going to bed the other night, and I go to Soph, and I'm like, the she had she has the windows on, yeah. And so I go to the bed. I'm like, come here, you, come here, you, come here, you. <laughs> it's fucking stone cold. <laughs> <laughs> and thankfully, she was watching it with me because then she understood it. Yeah. And she laughed when I called her a donkey lovingly. Oh wow! So that was uh, a gamble. That, that was. was a huge gamble. You love to see it when it pays off. Yeah. Ooh, the sweet spot. Yeah. You know you're approaching it. Oh, yeah. There's a very high probability that you can... I'm hoping that you can hear part of the movie yeah. through the... Like, you could turn it up if you want. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just imagine the whole podcast is just like a bunch of war sounds. Yeah, and we're basically. just screaming this into could the mic. Very well, I'm just well thinking it disaster. isolates a little bit more. Like, I'm sure there's a little bit in the background, but... Yeah, maybe. It might isolate. We we know. might get really lucky, and this might end up being really good. It's so weird how, like, diverse the cast is now, but mm-hmm. you don't really notice until you, like, just never, like, see an Asian person on the Star Wars is in the original one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd think these bombers would be a little faster. It'd be more practical. I think so. Like, you guys have space-age technology, and yet you decide to make this, like, tractor version of a spaceship. 
you know what's really funny? When it's very mm. crucial that it go a little faster. You know what's hilarious? The mm. fact that three weeks ago, and anybody that's been like following us, like listening to us, yeah. three, four weeks ago would have been like, oh, these guys don't like Star Wars. Fallen Order, Mandalorian, and now we're actually recording a podcast while watching The Last Jedi, which is like one of the most hated ones. Yeah. So fuck, and, and we're going next week. I almost feel like we're liars. Well, no. Why would we or not go? I'm a liar. Maybe because like did. We're always going to go see it because, you know, oh, it's hype. Yeah. Yeah. But this would never have happened either. Like I said, these these movies still have pull. Like, no one's not going to go just because it says Star Wars and just because they didn't like this one particularly. Right. I, I It still has pull. Whereas we feel Terminator, that fell. Yeah. And that didn't have as much pull as it did in the past. And I adore numbered one and two. Yeah, there you go. But I had no interest in this one. Oh, look at her. This would never have happened. And she would never have had time. Also... Why would they? Oh. See, I feel like they went already past her. That the controller. Really, she had time to turn around. You and know what? They it. should have had the remote right in that platform where she's at. That's what they should have done. Yeah. yeah. Again, that would make sense, but it would make dollars. It makes so much. Do you think you're less critical of Ryan Johnson since Knives Out was dope as fuck? Uh, no, because I had no Ryan Johnson when I saw this for the first time, so I had no reason to be biased against him. Oh, You're only, we're only biased of, listen, we're only against Ryan Johnson for what he did with this particular piece, Look right? what you did, you little jerk! Like, until yeah. you told me, like, five minutes before we saw that movie, I had no idea it was Ryan Johnson. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That oh. looks like Tobey Maguire. No. <laughs> Doesn't it? Like, Come number on. three? It's number PT three, Tobey yeah, Maguire? yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't tell me it doesn't look like doo, that. Doo, like doo, he's doo, he's doo, not dancing doo, anymore. He's just kind of there. Um, do you know Venom? I, I hope Venom does go R rating. By the way, I hear they're aiming for an R rated. Yeah, it would make sense. It would make a lot of sense because of Joker. I'm hoping that resonated. Who knows? This mm. could be very. We're by the way, we're recording video of this, and Anthony's going to splice it up into his famous. Yeah, I'm taking some notes of when there are some witty comments oh. around what time to look. And now we got to switch it up. Awesome. I just missed the clap. No, no, no. Just keep it going. All right. He's not going to record the whole thing. Ah, okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure if Venom was R-rated, it would just be more gruesome. Like, it would be their license to yeah. be more gruesome instead of it actually being, like, swear well, words. Well, I think they could actually show blood and the... And the carnage, if you will. Oh. Well, if they're going to... But yeah, like here's the thing, right? They're having Carnage, who is known for being this horrible serial killer, yeah. who is like overall what he does is very bad things. I think it has to be gratuitous. It has some... to be rated R. Like, there's <laughs> literally no way to... It's like doing Deadpool, not rated R. It's like you yeah. can't do it. Yeah, that's true. But they did do it. Well, yeah, and it's so But after ass. they already did it. They just did it because they could. Yeah. Just to show Disney not yeah. to fucking do it. Yeah. Do we? Ever, I don't remember why he was ever in this position. Like, what happened at the end of Force I think Awakens? Kylo beat his ass. He got cut with the lightsaber in his back, and so oh. he's out. Oh, so he he's probably been in a coma ever since they left that whatever the hell. You know, he was an interesting character in the first one, and I don't know why, but they made him super uninteresting. There was that in this. one uh, Asian girl who like Rose. with the dinosaurs. Yeah, I yeah. thought she fucking died, and then she was in the trailer. No, yeah, everybody wanted her to die, but. Well, I think everybody was unjustifiably mean to her in general. Well, I'm not, I hate her character. I wasn't going to Twitter to bash her. That was stupid. Those like, people were douchebags. Throw the hell up. Come but on. it's good that they brought her back and yeah. they weren't gonna they weren't gonna be afraid of it. Well, you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. Okay, honestly, I really like this part that he threw it. Yeah, yeah, I like, liked it too. Come on, that's pretty good. It's like a profound moment. It's like ah, fuck it. <laughs> staring, staring. Staring, brooding, brooding, kind of like, how did you find me? Yeah, and throws it. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Is that a, whoop? And he threw it hard too. Is that a dated reference, by the way? Bye, Felicia. Now, Man, yes. No. Wow, Anthony, our resident young person. This triggered so many people, and it was so funny. They ruined the lore. Why? I don't know. Because he threw the lightsaber. That meant so much. I don't think this is lore. This this theme was really good. Yeah. I remember this theme specifically. Na, 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 na. Isn't the Force Awakens all new? 
and whatever was written and done for this movie was now is now canon. Well, like the lore of like the actual like past previous movies. Though. I wonder which hut oh. he decided to stay in. Whatever. Everybody, I wonder what like did he decide out of the eight huts that are here? <laughs> We're like, I like this one. Have you ever played Minecraft and you just find a village and you just kill all the villagers and pick whatever house you want? No, I haven't done that. <laughs> I've That's never played Luke Minecraft. Skywalker did. <laughs> I'm assuming Luke had some uh, spring cleaning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the elephant in the room, if you would. Or he just banged one of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are I going to say? Kevin McAllister. Oh, did you guys see that video where they were showing um, the tricks or whatever, the booby traps at Home Alone and the actual effect that it did on Oh, like, uh, on like medical Harry? doctors would it? Be like oh, that? man. It's so That's come wild. out a couple of times now, hasn't it? Has yeah. it? I, I I remember hearing about it, and I never, I don't think I ever committed to watching the whole thing. But I watched I watched bits of it, like I watched a good chunk of it on um, on Saturday, and then I ended up watching Home Alone on Sunday, like yeah. randomly. Yeah. And while watching it, it was like, holy fuck, these guys are so dead. Yep. There's no way they're walking. Did they find any attacks were fatal? Uh, a good the chunk paint, of them. The paint can was one. Uh, or it would, uh, if not fatal, then they would have been paralyzed. Cause what it would have done is it would have forced their entire head to knock back mm-hmm. and then it would have se- like severed their spine. And then the fall after would have just destroyed them. Hmm. So there's like a-, a lot of them, even just the falls, like falling down yeah, the stairs and all of that shit. Like what about the flamethrower to the head that probably, yeah, for sure. Hmm. I really like this, like. The way he, they set up his room, though, like the all red, mm. it really made a good backdrop for that. <laughs> for like the the um, the scene, mm-hmm. we'll put it that way. Ultimately, he chose a color. Also, I never, yeah, no shit, <laughs> the, the red, the white, pick a color. I never really cared for Snoke at all. There was always that who's Snoke, and I'm pretty sure we played that game of who Snoke is. Yeah, but I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, yeah. did not give a shit. Well, it doesn't, ma- Listen, doesn't I, matter. It doesn't matter now in a way, but the thing is, it could have been something worthwhile to see, like, where did this guy come out of the woodworks to run the First Order slash the birth of the Sith, kind of rebirth of the Sith. I don't know. They're not called the Sith. They're called the First Order, but at the end of the day, these guys are on the dark side of the Force, regardless. So dark. So by association, they're considered Sith, I guess you could say. Which is probably why they brought Palpatine back for the other one, because they're like, well, Snoke was a huge waste of time, yeah. so now we're bringing Palpatine. See, I have no problems with Palpatine coming back. I feel it was- I only- have no idea how, because it's always- only the light Jedi, the, it's only the good Jedis that have embraced the, the light side yeah. that are able to come back in like astro form. Well, that's astro form, that's different. But uh, on the dark side of it, though- what is it? What's the rules? Don't you remember when he was talking what to is? Anakin when he was still Anakin and telling Darth Plagueis and stuff like that at that opera? No, not basically. Well. Told him the story of a uh, of a uh, the guy Sith. that came back. Yeah, the guy that came he back. He could re- like resurrect himself from the dead or whatever. Exactly. That's so, what everyone thought Snoke was. That was like the huge one for a while. Yeah. I I, I figure it's like a. You know, if anyone ever wanted yeah. to argue that in the Force Awakens. Right. She wasn't a Mary Sue. The fact he just said it right here. She's never had a little lightsaber, and then she beat a guy with that's yeah. been training for one. It's like that's not that doesn't happen. Yeah. What is on his face? Who's like oh, Renz? Maybe it was one of you know. Oh, like, he got cut. Remember? Yeah, but what is like? Why is it like that? It's maybe like it's a like stitch. Of, maybe it's like one of those things where like if you hurt your knee and they put that tape that holds your knee in place, where you see athletes that have like it wrapping well, around you know their what? body. If he didn't do that, he looked like Snoke. Look at him. Look at his face, testy face. Yeah. Well, you got fucking Roderick. Do you know he's a fucking? He marine? got cut. Remember with the with the lightsaber. I remember him getting cut. It's just I don't know why it was that weird pattern. Wow. You know. Oh, he's has his teenage. This is moments. where Ren totally loses his shit. Uh! That's all I hear when he does that. Yeah. Also, hasn't that helmet gone through enough? Uh, not like, that one. Leave the helmet alone, dude. Why has he already made another one? What are you doing, dude? Like, he breaks so he's many. He's in an elevator. I still kind of like in The Force Awakens where he freaks out and those stormtroopers just walk away. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the scotch, by the way. What am I drinking? This would be the Glenfiddich uh, 14 year. Ooh. You need to be limber. 
What do you know about Ray Finkel? Foreshadowing. That's foreshadowing. That's force shadowing. Force shadowing. (laughs) Watch when we're uh, watching the the, the new Star Wars on the Friday. I'm going to be force shadowing the entire plot of the movie right before it happens. (laughs) Don't. Did you guys see that trailer that has like Darth Vader's Ah, head and then the two lightsabers going half? The poster? That poster? The the poster looks looks fucking nice. What? I it looks so dumb. Looks nice as fuck. That was old promo. You know that, right? The one where it was Darth Vader's helmet? Yeah, that's from... That's from... They called... Yeah, because they they were... Turn of the Jedi was meant to be like Revenge of the Jedi. So that was promotional photos from back when it first got released. Where it shows the light, the red and the blue lightsaber? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was cool. I just thought it was funny. No, it's uh, it's a. That's why they did this one the way they did it. It's oh my of, god, Luke! Please, mm. yeah. The four titted behemoth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's fucking disgusting. Ryan John, why does he wink? He didn't wink. He fucking he winced. winked. <laughs> he winced. It's a difference. He enjoyed that tit milk. He's a like, little too is, much for my liking. Yeah, this yeah. is the only thing I've been fucking drinking for years. Just as sour and lumpy as I yeah. remember. Oh, no shit. What are you, new? Really, Ray? I thought I was going to let go halfway through. Also, I didn't really care about the Porgs at all. See, everybody loved them. I also didn't give a fuck. I just like the Chewbacca already cooked one up. Yeah. She just ate it. Holy fuck, that was a Dragon Ball fish. Mm. Nursty. Also, that forest is really handy. Yeah, I could imagine it. Like, it's handy, but it's really handy now. He's able to fish without even giving a fuck. Yeah, Ray. Ray. Stupid like, bitch. Too late. I've wasted my time already. What's a little bit more? <laughs> I've literally watched No you, means no, Ray. I've watched you milk this four-titted thing. Yeah, take a knee. Has she even said a word at all? Yeah. She said, Master Skywalker, I'm not leaving without you. Oh, you missed the part where she said about the First Order and what's going on. That's also true. Where Kylo has no light left in him. Yeah. Mm. The OG temple. What the fuck is up with these people and going to dark forests? Well, because that's where you know cool things happen. Look, mm. at, look at the Ents in Lord of the that's Rings. That's where too. random ass androids attack you. Also, I was looking at my hand yesterday. This is so stupid, but I I have a hairy hand. Mm-hmm. If you look at it, I was I had my hands crossed and I'm looking and I'm like, this kind of reminds me of that scene where Legolas, Aragorn, and Gimli were circling around and then they went into Fangorn Forest. Wow. <laughs> And that's the hair on my arm. (laughs) I guess so. It's just this clear open space, and my knuckles are like the planes that they were running on, and then they go into the hair, which is Fangorn Forest. Ooh, wow. Who are you? I think you'd know that. What did you guys think of the Wonder Woman trailer? Fuck, so nice. It was awesome. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I heard the villain is supposed to be like something really interesting. It's It's that cheetah, isn't it? Cheetah is is the one and then there's also Pedro Pascal's character who's like brother, the, yeah. I thought it was brother I they said well maybe that's mm. who Pedro Pascal is yeah. no brother I is a fucking like unicron thing not a planet but like this oh. it's like the thing Tony Stark has oh I don't think they're gonna do that that's what, I, that's what somebody said who's, they might, who's somebody it was just on Instagram they showed the comparison of the two characters oh mm. it showed this stone that he had that the Pedro Pascal's character had, yeah. and supposedly he has something to do with Steve Trevor returning. I figured that was the case. Like, it had to be something I kind of wish he stayed dead, but the fact that Patty Jenkins said that there's a reason for him being back, I'm like, hey, yeah. trust you. And yeah. it's a role reversal now where she knows the world and he doesn't. Yeah. So he's That's coming. That's pretty good, yeah. You know what? I like that a lot. Just another fuck. And her outfit at the end was, like, fucking wild. Just another yeah. Steve, played by a guy named Chris. Who did a plane crash and came back alive? What was the Ooh, other one? Hello. I want you to think about this. Another guy named Steve, played by a guy oh. named Chris. Come <laughs> on, G. What the fuck? Sorry. You know, I haven't seen a Marvel movie since uh, Endgame, Endgame came out. I, I bought it on DVD. You so far from home with me. That's that's no, not with you with Soph. That's a lot. But lie I was then. in the theater with you. No, because it hadn't come out with DVD on DVD yet. It was Far From Home came out in the theater, and then the Endgame DVD came out after. It was August 12th that the DVD came out. Mm. But no, you went to the theater. Or Blu-ray. Like, right, but I think that was before. No, that Endgame was Endgame came out on D- on Blu-ray. No, because I started working. Like, it was beginning of October. 
Was it beginning of October? Yeah. Oh, then I guess Far From Home was the latest one, and I saw it more recently than I thought. Never mind. I've been working there for like a while now. Jeez. I'm just starting to realize that all sense of time is just fucking. No, this last half, ever since university done started, it's me. been just a blur. Hmm. It's all a blur right now, and I can't even put my time together. At one point, yeah. someone asked, like, when did you guys start? I'm like, when did Spider Man Homecoming come out? And then I couldn't even put together the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the many times time where I'll just like think to myself, what day is it? Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's a Monday, Tuesday. My days are blended together. You know what's sweet? In Fallen Order, that they show when you're going from planet to planet, they do the whole oh, this light speed is thing. Nice. Or, yeah. Oh, bitch slap for a bitch, eh? Oh, snap. That's like 20,000 XP, Leia. Come on. Get your head out of your cockpit. Come on, Leia. You're better than that. I mean, rest in peace, but <laughs> you're better than that. Ooh, so oh, boy damn. Tell him. Ooh. Yeah, it's because all the leaders were back in the ship safe and sound. Hello. It's like, they, it's like they want him to be a leader without giving him the authority to be a leader. I, I still know for a fact I'm going to hate whenever she goes flying out of that window and forces back. She should have died. Yeah. Yep. That's this- That would have been... The best way for her to go. Hmm. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to be that. I don't want to be that man. No, man. I've said it before on the show. Yeah. If she instead of hi- doing the Heisman all the way back to the ship, if she would have just closed the ship using the Force and then died, yeah, like that would be unreal. Still to this day, it'd be unreal. Hmm. Well, there would be so many conspiracy theories. No, Did Disney it, kill her off because they knew. No, because she died. Yeah. Should she died, died before this even, uh, I think, Happen. before it finished. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Did you see that? They made a focus on her hand, so we're mm. all supposed to look at her hand. Impossible. Uh, Wonder Woman's outfit, that gold one, looks badass. Also, I have a feeling that yeah. all the Themyscira stuff is a flashback. Oh, it has to be, yeah. They're doing a uh, like, spinoff on that before they do Wonder Woman 3. They're doing a spinoff for Themyscira? For like the Amazonians. Oh, That's no. sweet. I would I would see that for sure. Hmm. Are they going to bring back uh, Robin Wright? I have no idea. I just saw like the time slate. That would be exceptional. Visually, this movie was fucking awesome. Oh yeah. Okay, how did the Sith lose? Like, there's like realistically no way they should ever lose. No. You mean? Look at the equipment they have. Like, also, what's really funny about this movie, when you really break it down, the majority of the plot for the resi- like the rebels and stuff, yeah. was the equivalent of like someone being chased, a steamroller chasing a zamboni. Yeah, and it was just a series of who's gonna give up first or run out of gas first. Yeah, <laughs> like that scene in Austin Powers where the guy's yeah. like, "No!" Yeah, I always loved how loud his scream was. <laughs> Actually, I forgot how funny uh, Marv's screams were in Home Alone oh, when yeah. the spider goes on his head. And then the other one where he like... Gets electrocuted? No. Oh. No, we just watched the first one. So where where his he stepped on the nail uh, and just the... Uh, and then they call him back. Still the best. And I also realized how much I thought Kevin was right during the movie when I was younger. And then as I got older, I'm thinking, I'm like, Kevin's a fucking punk, man. A little bit. I mean, I get some of his stuff, but he's a punk, you know, for sure. He's a fucking menace. But, but, I put this on my Instagram, no matter how, what age, even today, Uncle Frank's a fucking douche. Fuck Uncle Frank. Yeah. Oh, and he told him off, too. Such a loser. But it's great. At least they made the uncle like the biggest loser in the show. Yeah. What oh, are we knows. going to do? Oh, shit. What's coming? Oh, yeah. It's mother and... They should have had like... Do they have a moment? Something like that. Oh. oh. She, at the end of the day, she's still force sensitive. Like, that's understandable. Oh, okay, yeah. So what I'm... That's why, though... But it was never mentioned ever again. Yeah, but it's, it's well known she had that even with Luke. So you no, can't completely I'm, dismiss it. I get that, but because they've never shown it, this is the issue. We all get that she was Force-sensitive for Mm -hmm. a long time. But right now, she's blasted out into space. First of all, she'd be dead. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is, even if we know that she's Force-sensitive, they should show it, not by her doing the most impossible, ridiculous feat known to man, but having her die with, like, 
oh, she's had it all along. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah, used yeah. it to save. I get that. I get you know? that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, because the 30 gigantic ships aren't the going to tell them anything. Mm. He was one of the twins in Harry Potter, right? No. Oh. He was not. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. This is a cool shot for sure. Mm-hmm. Look, Heisman. Heisman, look at that. See, it look, almost it almost looks like how the Guardians Galaxy did the Yondu? space the space thing, yeah, yeah, See, yeah. Kind of feel. I'm pretty sure all of Hollywood has the only thing they've agreed on is how. Hey, this is how this how you look when you're fucking in space. <laughs> look, 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 I wonder She's if after, Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> uh, like. This is so ridiculous. You know what this reminds me of? When you're playing with your toys and like your toy goes out here and you just drag it like you have Spider-Man do the most ridiculous move to get back into the playing field. Yeah. Like it's so just, yeah, let's have her do it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? See, but nobody ever mentions this ever again. This like, is literally, if this didn't happen, it would have no effect on the movie. Yeah. And that is it, why I dislike it so much. That's a good that's point. Fair. That's a very good point. It's very fair. Fuck you, Ryan. I'm just kidding. Thank you for Knives Out. <laughs> I think I've watched this one more time since the last time I saw it. I watched it a couple. I don't mind it. It's whatever. Vasily likes to do a weekly rewatching. And not a weekly, but every couple months. Here, you're always eating a porg. Yeah. Eat it. That looks fucking delicious. I would oh, eat that, That looks too. really good. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Like, yo. Some meaty chicken wings right there. Yeah, I would shit, eat eh? a porg and a harp. I don't care. Look at me as I eat it. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Aw, look at how cute he is. No effect. Sorry. Baby Yoda's cuter than you are. I wouldn't eat Baby Yoda. No. I think Baby Yoda would be gross. Nah, he's yeah. also 50 years old, so he's gone way past his due date. Mm. And he's got hair. So you got to treat it like a duck where you have to singe off all the hair first. Mm. And he doesn't shave. He's a hairy boy. Yeah. Oh. What the hell's an aluminum falcon? He mm-hmm. just looks like the average like 35-year-old guy who lives in his mom's basement. 35-year-old? Okay. <laughs> he does not look like a 35-year-old. No. Eh. He looks like exactly hey. what he's supposed to look like. An old crotchety man that's been living on his own for a very yeah. long time drinking breast milk. Oh, by the fucking gallon. Um, do you guys care about the Ghostbusters trailer? I didn't see it. I didn't watch it. Actually. Oh, did you? Yeah, How I was, was surprised. That? The uh, overall reaction was positive. Still the OG cast, obviously. They didn't show them in the thing, and of course they had that Finn Wolfhard, whatever yeah, his name is, because he's in everything. Yeah. yeah, and it, and everything else they can throw him in. Oh yeah. Um, all of the it kids are doing good. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it was fine. It was pretty cool. Actually, uh, there's two parts. One, it feels like um it feels like it's Paul Rudd here to save the Ghostbusters franchise with this kid. Um and you know Paul Rudd's just going to be good in it. Like it's just impossible for him not to be good. And by good, I mean like you just like him. But yeah, I was very you shocked. Also, I saw the one clip though of him saying there hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. Mm, and they had yeah. to say it that just so everybody knows the female Ghostbusters was not canon. Oh. Oh. I still haven't seen a single Ghostbusters, though, so. You haven't seen any of them? I will. I want to see the third one. There's only, like. No, you, what you should see third. is number one. Yeah. Wait, is this not the, the new one, the third one? No. <laughs> yes, it will be. It'll be the is third it? One. Yeah. In the, I guess in the original yeah, yeah, trilogy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I want to watch the third one, so I'll end up watching the first two, like, before. Yeah. I would. Um, I never watched the. the Female one. I've only seen one and two. I haven't seen the reboot. And then there's the reboot of the reboot. Um. Yeah, it was fine. It looked okay. Mm. Also, the Free Guy trailer. That looked good as fuck. And the way you described it, a GTA Online movie. Awesome. I think it would be funny. That's exactly what it looks like. There's there's no other way to describe it other than a, a an, an underground or a back... Yeah, it's like a backhanded... Not backhanded. What's that term? There's a term. But it's an it, it's they're secretly sneaking a GT on GTA online video game movie mm. through Free Guy. Hmm. Interesting. I forget what the other there was another movie that was oh and it's like Ready Player One but mm. obviously gonna be funnier yeah. I guess. Ready Player One but not directed by Steven Spielberg. Yeah, but they don't need to because it's literally the same location. And Taika Waititi's in it. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. I why does I, she have purple hair? I don't care about the purple hair thing. I don't understand her reason for being here. And Laura Dern is a good actress. It yeah. just seems like this was like, hey, do you want to stand around and be disliked for an hour and a half? Mm-hmm. Sure, I'll do that. Okay, here you go. It's so weird seeing those aliens like just beside regular people because they look really like out of place. Yeah, like that one looks fine, but like th- it's just that one in particular that always looks fake. Hmm. With the flaps. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I remember. It's just he kept trying to get her to do something. Did you guys see the link I posted? Uh, the office <laughs> released threat the entire threat level. And it's twenty four minutes. Like it's a full episode. Yeah. Hmm. I was always Threat level midnight. I was always wondering when they would. So we're having nice weather. Yes. No, we're not. It's fucking <laughs> freezing, dude. And it's supposed to snow again and get colder. It's supposed to get warmer, but it's actually getting colder. Well, it is winter. It's okay. We've had it good for a while. Yeah, I'm not gonna I knew this was going to happen. It was inevitable. Well, I'm not complaining. I'm See, just I saying. actually don't mind a nice cold morning with like, as long as the sun's out, it's, I can deal with it. But if it's like just a miserable day no thanks oh no mo- finn walk away yeah. i'm not a morning person to begin with so the fact that it's morning and it's cold and dark and dark no i don't mind the dark yeah. but the dark doesn't help the fact that i don't like Good. mornings yeah yeah here we the go the best character in the movie <laughs> rose <laughs> what's up girl you're a hero yeah. the tuna <laughs> she wasn't even <laughs> he's tuna <laughs> They should have had Jim Krasinski in here, and then it would be, or John Krasinski, is it John Krasinski? Yeah, 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 John Krasinski. The Finn and the Tuna. Oh, obviously, Tuna Finn. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what that would be the equivalent of, Somewhat, like some super famous resistance person hey, saying the force be with you. Have a great day. Yeah. No, but it would have to be equivalent to like, I God bless you. No, running into... I feel like God bless you would be the right one because no man, it has to be like a religion. It has to be synonymous. You're not even paying attention. It would be like Patrick Stewart telling you to live long and prosper. He's saying that, like in their world, yeah, it's a big deal, right? Like he's saying his catch line kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. You're not a hero. You're a zero. You're a liar. What the fuck? Thanks for the may the force be with you. Take it and shove it up your cram hole. What a crazy bitch. Mm-hmm. Well, to be fair, if he wasn't who he said she was, he was, then she's just doing her job properly. I still don't know isn't how it they actually got the tracker on there. Isn't it because his ass has a tracker in it? No, I don't know. His ass, like specifically? I don't know. Maybe they shoved one up there and he doesn't know about it. Why up the ass? I don't know. It'd probably be an easy way to put it, easy place to put it. I don't know. Oh. Also, by the way, we can all say that there's no way she would have survived whatever happened in the like the end of this movie. Like she's fucking toast, man. She should have been. She should have been. And him too. Toast. Toast. Oh my gosh. Do you think there'd be another uh, online game that could be a video a movie? Hmm. A what? Well, Free Guy is pretty much GTA Online. Yeah. Then what? What else would actually work? I mean, they've been nothing that they ever already haven't done, to be honest. But GTA was the last one that you could do because if it's meant to be crime related, then yeah, GTA is the last of the big ones to put all like. Put no, through. I'm saying Free Guy is like GTA Online. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and that's relatively easy to do because you just have shit happen in a city. Yeah. So then, what other online would actually work? I don't think many would. No. No know. shooter would work because that'd just be stupid and Point. not the multiplayer would just be campaign. Yeah. Right. Other Which online is every movies. army movie or spy movie. So there you already have that. Like uh, instead of them trying to do an online or a video game movie based on like, let's say an Assassin's Creed or whatever, mm-hmm. if they pick like a, a character in an online world and follow them. So let's say you are, you're watching a character being, I guess they kind of did that with Gamer, that movie with Gerard Butler. Yeah, it was supposed to be better, but piece of shit. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Who was that? Mon Mothma? Is that what it was? That's Maz, yeah. Ma- oh, yeah. It's funny because you can't even like recognize that it's Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah. 
I do hope they bring her back in some way. Because yeah. it'd be just useless to have her for the one movie and bring her for this one, just like this, and well, then nothing for the third. You didn't know that they were bringing her back for this movie. No, you didn't. But she's not that big of a staple in there that she has to be in the third. No. It would just be like, hey, remember this person from one, two? Now she's in three. Well. What a stupid section of the movie. Hmm. And mostly because the whole thing was a complete failure. What's up? It was a complete failure, and it only all it did was put Finn on a fucking ship. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Anthony, you're being very quiet. You know we're recording a podcast, right? I'm also like, well, there's nothing like else to say in these scenes as of now. You don't have to talk about the yeah. scenes. That's why I'm bringing up other topics, dude. I was putting in put in. Just... You're just not starting any. Well, you have to consider to. the fact that somebody's listening to this right now, and then there's these brief pauses, and I'm the one that's trying to fill the void. But they're also watching the movie. No, they're probably not. They're most likely listening to this in their car or wherever they listen to. There's a very there's a very low probability that they're actually watching this movie while they're mm-hmm. listening to us. Like I'm gonna say maybe one percent. There might be one oh, person. It's like... These scenes were cool. Yeah. I wish they kind of blended them better so it almost looked like they were in the same room mm. instead of them having their own individual I don't know what to compare it to but so Snoke linked them mm. what was it the per- like I don't know it seemed like a stupid purpose from what I remember I as think, to why he linked them in the first place I think he wanted I think Snoke wanted him to turn her Mm-hmm. Also, what happened to his sports tape on his face? He just took it off. He just had remember. Oh, you that talking. was a very clean, clean takeoff. Oh. Machines, right? He kind of looks like Marilyn Manson. If Marilyn Manson did a documentary, if there was sorry, if there was a bi- uh, a rockumentary or something on Marilyn Manson, mm-hmm. he's the only person that could play him right now. Also, why are they dressed like nuns? Who knows. See, these just look so weird. And they came out of nowhere. Mm. Like, when she first showed up, they weren't there. Get started on your training. Kill Bill. Did you see that? I heard they were... So, I also heard that if he makes Kill Bill 3, it doesn't count as his final movie. In his mind, because he'll blink them all as one movie again. So, So he says Kill Bill 3 is still in the cards. I don't know know why. At this point... Yeah, like the thing is, what's the point? She got her. Bill revenge. is killed. Bill has died. Yeah, he no longer lives. What is the point? Like, yeah, it was think... Kill Bill like? Have you popular? seen it? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's very popular. Hmm. It was a lot of people. So when you talk about Tarantino, there's a few things. Somebody will say that, let's say, uh, Pulp Fiction is their favorite from his uh, Kill Bill or. Maybe in Glorious Bastards, even though he has like really good movies, but there are people that are like, no, this one's my favorite, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. So Kill Bill is one of those movies where people put together and is it, it would be considered maybe a lot of people's favorite Tarantino movie. Mm, okay. It's very good. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm halfway through Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Halfway? Yeah. Is this the first time you're watching it? Mm-hmm. Oh. This is the first Tarantino. No. This yep. is your first Tarantino movie? Mm-hmm. We've been talking about Tarantino movies for like th- almost three years now, and this is your first one? I never hit the fact that I've never seen it. No, I know, but oh, I'm yeah. just surprised it never, like, how many times mm. we've, sp- I've sp- at least I, myself, I've spoken about it. Mm. You haven't even been like, oh, I should check this out. Well, I don't know. Like, I always want to, but there's so many to start from. And then you hyped up Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah, but I've also, there. but Pulp Fiction is one of my top three favorite movies of all time. And but this one was more recent, there. and I actually had like more of an interest in it. I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And mm-hmm. then this one will like, I'll just go and probably do a list and go from whatever the list says is his worst Listen, movie. You're gonna watch best. Natural Born Killers, okay? Then you're gonna watch Na- uh, Reservoir Dogs, okay? Then you're gonna watch Pulp Fiction, okay? Then you're gonna go with Jackie Brown. Just watch it chronologically. And yeah, that's it. not even chronologically. Just start from his very first yeah. one, and then just. Go from there. I still like how he's training her here and fucks with her the whole time. To see what's real and what's not. Mm. So this is her feeling her surroundings. Is that what he's asking of her? These nuts. These motherfucking nuts. 
Oh, the she said force. It. Yeah. Whoa, Luke. Okay. All right. This has gone too far. I thought this was a Disney movie. Pushes her off the cliff. I don't think anyone ever said that the Force belonged to the Jedi. No, but let's. They had ownership over it, right? And whatever. No, they didn't. They just had control over the ability to use the Force. Some She's with... making her realize what it actually is, right? She just. She's not there yet in how she feels about it, right? Or she no, I'm, about I, it. I get that, but I'm saying for him to say that. It doesn't make sense because in the in the history of the thing, of the movies, they've never said that they own the forest or it belongs to them. Ooh, oh no, Ray, get some fucking self control. Yeah, it's Ray. Twenty nineteen. I think it was twenty seventeen. Seventeen when this came out. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has been two years. Wow. It's not as bad as I remember it being so far. That's because we haven't gotten to the core stuff. But, like, I also didn't hate it. Like, I just hated the ending. And I think that just made me hate the overall movie. Or whatever happened in the last half. I thought that he said, she said part of it I wasn't a fan of. Mm. Where it's like, this is how I saw it. And this is how I saw it. And, like, they show both scenes where they were so different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She looks like Maisie Williams. A little bit. But, like, a taller version. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Maisie Williams is going to, like have a big acting career mm. I, I honestly think, don't think she will i think she will i think she just needs to wait a bit just like uh mana masood mm. was talking about the aladdin yeah which i guess they were talking about doing a spin-off with that one prince and then now that's not gonna happen did her mutants movie not go forward no it's not gonna get released it no. will constantly push it back right it's, yeah yeah I and mean, i don't think disney's gonna want to release it Listen, for most of them, it's just going to be a matter of, like, find whatever work you can for now, mm. like, on the low, and then emerge after however many years, and then people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I remember he was from this, but it won't be like, oh, that's just the guy from this, I think. I think there's a there's a waiting period. When you accidentally butt call somebody multiple times. Mm. How would he be able to see that so well? <laughs> he's so in love can you imagine being like one of the people that work there and like staring up and like what is he doing I never know what he's doing up there <laughs> <laughs> who are you always talking to <laughs> why are you always talking to somebody just imagine you just there's somebody standing there where you can't see him <laughs> he actually came up there because he was summoned and then he, Kylo forgot he had summoned him goes through this whole thing and then the person's like, so <laughs> did you want that sandwich or not? Yeah. Oh, shit, 4D's force. Oh, damn. Fuck, that was clean. That was a clean, like, it was shot. A, from, it was a circle transition from, what is it, out to in or into out? I forget what it was. Oh. You're the worst people in the galaxy. Just because they have Fuck money. You, That's gross. I thought that was a, I thought it was a bone at first. No, mm. man. See, yeah, these just look oh, weird. Like, yeah, Casino Royale. Yeah, fun place to be at. Don't have to worry about the hustle and bustle of the <laughs> First Order of the Resistance. <laughs> yeah, it's like these guys live in this void. Yeah. Also, how do they let him in? He's got dirt all over him. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and she's got some crazy backstory with this place. The only place they had to go. Right? Is that what it is? Yeah. This is where her parents were murdered in an alleyway. My wife was murdered. It was the only case I can't yeah. solve. Don't fight with family. Gerald Jimes. Gerald Jimes. <laughs> I'm rewatching it again. Still fucking funny, man. Oh yeah. I don't get it. I've seen I've seen it front to back so many times and it's still funny. I started watching Parks and Recreation. Oh, I'm I never on episode two. I don't I know why. It took me three tries, and I got past season one, and it's just been going. Oh, okay. Like, I'm, I'm just beginning a season two, but I actually like find it pretty funny and enjoyable. There are people so. that fucking swear by it. Yeah. And then after that, I think it's always sunny in Philadelphia. That's you know another what? one people swear I by. I still got to find a good streaming service to watch it on, so. Yeah. I hope well, there's a this. thousand streaming services, so you can pick any one oh, you no, want. Oh, no, he meant illegally, sir. No, no, I meant a legit one. Yeah. Of the how many I pay for already. How many do Which you is, pay for right now? <laughs> two. Amazon Prime. Oh, I, th I think Prime is getting sunny, isn't it? 
I have no Probably. idea. Someone's got a lot it. of shit on there. Or I just uh, I hate, we have Crave as well. Like my roommate pays for Crave, so I fucking hate the interface on Amazon. Uh, it's it never not great, saves the but... what you were watching. You have to go back if you're watching like a a, mo- a show. It'll oh you'll always have to scroll to the, where the season that you were at and find the episode yeah. that you were at. Like it's so terrible. Mm. Not a fan of it. It's really weird. They could do so much better. It's like they've got so much inspiration from everywhere else. They probably. I assume because Prime is starting to pick up Steam as actually being like a legitimate streaming service. like Especially with shows like Jack Ryan and stuff. And Jack Ryan and The Boys are the two that I think are picking the most Steam. And then you had Carnival Row, which did good. Yeah, You well, liked it, eh? I haven't seen it. I just oh. like know. Oh, I haven't started it yet. Good. That was the one you mentioned, right? It with did. Orlando Bloom and yep. Cara Delevingne. Mm-hmm. De- Delevingne? Delevingne. Delevingne. Cara. Cara. Ha, 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 ha. It doesn't seem like a very practical craps table. Jeez, that would fuck up the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that's just violent on the robot. Yeah. Justin Thoreau. Justin Thoreau. That name is so familiar. Was he from? She's doing her fucking Goku training. Is that American Psycho? He was an American Psycho, yep. Yeah. Justin Thoreau, eh? Oh, he's married to Jen Franson. Get out. Mm-hmm. You know what's awesome? My he's, co- he guest starred on a number of episodes of Park and Rec. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, da, 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 da. I um, I was talking to some people at work today, and we were all having like a Pete Davidson sucks party, and it was the <laughs> best. <laughs> like, just imagine G grunts. Coker, what's wrong, G? <sighs> just Pete Davidson. Man. I didn't even bring it up. Oh fuck! So someone brought it up at work. Like so we were sitting there at lunch, and I'm like, they said, oh, like they're like, I can't stand Pete Davidson. I'm like, and I turn around, he's the fucking worst. That's what I said. <laughs> <coughs> I'm like, fuck that guy. She's <laughs> so angry. Oh, s- just hate him. Oh, come on, man. See, why would she break the rock? I feel like that it was rocked. better. Was this supposed oh, to be- <laughs> look at that? And she ruined the caretaker's shit. fucking shit. I thought it was better in the trailer how she didn't hit it, mm. but just enough of like just the sheer force of it. The force, the force. There you go. It's yeah, the, the actual repetitional yeah. nature of the training caused that void to yeah. go in there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like this part a lot. Yeah. I really like this part. I really love the Star Wars memes. Hmm. Yeah, they just take every single line and just make it a meme. You can make everything a meme if you put your mind to it. Not me. I just steal people's work. Was that Vader? Yeah. Well, he necessarily wasn't the most hated just by a bunch of people. Well, he was Space Hitler. Because a lot of people didn't even know who the fuck he was. Ben's you ask. Then I saw his face. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm a believer. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> My dad is dead, and his name was Darth Vader. That was good. I'm a Jedi. Ooh, I'm a believer. That's all I know from the song. Okay. Well, then. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Is it just me, or does the Mandalorian ship look a lot like the Jawa ship? I noticed that the shape of it are very... I noticed that the last episode was very similar. I still haven't seen the last episode, though. You didn't. You said you didn't like episode four. Did you like episode five? Well, I didn't. Know. It's not like I disliked it. I just thought it was like the worst out of them all, but like still good. Did you like? The, did you like five though? I haven't seen five. Is okay. that the new one? That's yeah. the newest yeah, one. No. Yeah. That came It'll out on out Friday. Mm-hmm. I was going to watch them both back to back. Six tomorrow. is tomorrow. Because remember last week is four and five. That must help having a metal hand. A little bit. It is handy. Also, they had this scene in the trailer of. The Force Awakens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there was a lot of stuff that they must have shot in conjunction to. No, you didn't fail because you were Luke Skywalker. You failed because you were a bitch. Oh, wow. Sorry. Sorry for all you Luke Skywalker fans. Immortals. Legends of the Fall. Shut up, bre. You're fucking British. Aren't they all? No, I'm pretty sure she's the only British. No, uh, no Finn is. Is he? In real life, he's... he's uh, not oh, not like actor. I mean, like just the actual like character accent. Oh, yeah. 
Did you see this? Bob Iger is meeting with Martin Scorsese. Yeah. <laughs> and don't go, Marty. Have you seen your own films? What does this mean? Is meeting with Scorsese and don't go, Marty. I don't get what that means. Shit. I don't even know why they would be meeting. It seems weird. Scorsese Gaming is the closest thing I can think of them. Whatever. He said amusement parks. What we all sucks. know that. Just like Christmas shopping. They say they don't know what the meeting would be about. Shopping. Yeah, I do. It's just so like... Amazon's fine. I don't fucking know. It's just so hard to pick and like decide. You let them pick. Make a wish list. Hmm. I don't know. The Secret Santa thing is probably the best thing to do. I do not know. I... Jesus, that guy looks familiar. So you guys don't care that Scorsese's meeting with Iger? No? Man, you guys are... Okay. No, Benicio. The the second code breaker. Yeah. The grungy code breaker. They should have had him do a bigger role. Yeah, but it was almost just perfect that he was there for however long he was there for. I don't know. But it was just surprising that he took on... like Because they never really announced what he was actually going to... He was just in. He was just in. I don't, I don't even remember what the rumors were, wh- who he was supposed to know. be. Um, well, ben Snoke's boudoir. I really like that line. <laughs> he's good at everything. Like, there hasn't been a Benicio role that I haven't liked. Mm. Shh, get out the whole time. Yeah, no shit. That was so dumb. Oh, well. Maybe you just needed a place you to... You could have left so long ago. Unless you wanted ago. to be somewhere quiet and just sleep. Only to get him... But he didn't actually need them for anything, I guess. Or mm. he needed their ship. Was that what he needed? Because he has uh, a ship. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen the Two Popes? No, I have not. That's supposedly on Netflix, but I haven't seen it. Is that American Netflix? Uh, good question. I have no idea. No, I thought. Oh, maybe. Marriage Story. I saw come up on Netflix. Marriage I want to see that. What's that about? It's with um, uh, what's his face? He's in this movie. Who's the Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson? It's like oh, okay. The story of marriage and how their marriage is gonna like is like, I guess not doing well. Oh. Awkward. Or like it goes through like the natural courses of what most marriages go through. Okay. Supposedly, it's like really raw. Hmm. Interesting. It's raw, donkey. Because I'm looking at the Golden Globes. Is that what it is? Golden Globe shit. Oh yeah, that came out. Irishman, Joker, 1917, Two Popes, and Marriage Story are best motion dramas. Joker. Is definitely for sure in the top, but honestly, 1917 could have stolen have it a bit. Have you seen too. it yet? No, but everyone's been raving about it just as much. I could see it being a Joker in 1917 race this year. Yeah. Just not having seen 1917, but mm-hmm. for the same reason. The hype. Yeah. And then Best Actress, Scarlett Joe for Marriage Story. Interesting. Is the one I haven't seen Little Women Bombshell, Charlie's Throne for Bombshell, which is a part of, like everyone's not liking. <laughs> even the hardcore like feminists. No, no, no. Even the hardcore left publications mm. aren't really giving it a lot of praise. Interesting. How come? Fuck, do I know, man? They oh. just say it's like doesn't do the story justice or mm. whatever. Fuck, do I know? Did huh. they go over the top with their feminism in it to make it like worse than what it actually was? There's a very real possibility that they did that. I wouldn't be surprised. I feel in their but always it looked it, good. I was actually yeah. super interested in it. I'll Which probably movie still are we talking it. about again? Bombshell. bombshell. A bombshell. Oh, about yeah. the Fox uh, exe- was it Fox? Fox exec? Yeah. That was uh, John Lithgow, isn't it? Mm. Because he he wore prosthetics, but didn't Charlize Theron or do Dude, she looks different like the real Megan Kelly? Okay, uh, Nicole Kidman looks different. Margot yeah. Robbie's the only one out from yeah. the three that look like. But from what I understand, her role was created. She Margot actually, Robbie's. It wasn't the actual one in this in the in the real story. She uh, it was created for some reason. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I guess they liked her that much that they created it for her. And it's like, whatever. They have some social, they have some licensing in that kind of department where it really doesn't affect the story one way or the other, right? But No, but what it does is it, it takes away from the, the main, reality of yeah. it. Like, you know what I mentioned? I mentioned the show that straight out of Compton mm. did a bunch of stuff that was like, this is not how it was. This is not how yeah. it was. Mm-hmm. And the only reason I would know that because there was multiple stories of, let's say, Dr. Dre beating, like he beat D. Barnes and he was a very like abusive yeah. dude. Yeah. In the whole movie, they made 
made him look like he's like this calculated thinker and super calm and collective, yeah. which he's not, mm-hmm. right? Or wasn't. So in this one, for them to bring in a new character just to add on. Yeah. But, I mean, it depends, I guess, what her role is. If her role is just to lead us through. See, like to I, don't, be- I don't know it for sure, but it could be that she wasn't, maybe not a real, but she wasn't as big as a character as what they created again. Maybe. It could be one or the other. Uh, I still don't understand how they never saw that coming, by the way. What, Were them shot? leading the whole enemy to their fucking ship. Yeah, no kidding. They didn't expect them to try and stop the ship. Mm. Fuck you gotta you lose them. You gotta lose the tail. Like, what are you, new? Yeah. Yeah, no, bring the whole I thought she, like, knew these fucking horses or whatever they are. <laughs> like, I thought she knew of them. That's why they're saving them. I'm not, yeah. Well, it's not like they that. recognize her, like, animals-wise. Yeah, I guess. So. I guess. Oh, that thing's stupid. All right. Push her. Um, sure. best Do motion it. picture, musical or comedy, Dolomite, Jojo Rabbit, Knives Out, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Rocket Man. I'm surprised Jojo was getting some. Uh, I'm you know what? Attention. It was pretty damn good. No, I, I don't think it's great. Bad. Everyone like said it. it was great. I don't think it's bad. It's just like You're the surprising nature it of the got... film, you know. But even Inglorious Bastards was getting a lot of love, and it was about. But I guess that's like just killing like for Nazis. 2019, yeah. yeah, you know. Where if you Knives mean, like, Out, you might... know what it is. <sighs> No. Oh, it could be Knives Out. Knives Out I was so surprised. I did like comedy. Dolomite a lot. Dolomite is my name. I never watched it. I it's heard good. it was good. That's good. That's wild. What were you going to say, Anthony? I was surprised Knives Out was a comedy. Like, I had no idea. Like, again, I had no idea what the, like, vibe was. Yeah. So, like, halfway through, I was confused. And I was kind of like, I don't really like this. And then, like, later on, I was like, you know what? Actually, like, I do enjoy this. Like, I just had no idea what it was going to be like. But hmm. my favorite joke was at the end. When they're like, this has been in our family for like generations. Oh bullshit! He ain't bought it in the eighties. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Uh, Once upon a time in Hollywood is also musical or comedy, which I think is. Yeah. Is it a musical? Because so far, like it it's, has not. It's. I I wouldn't even consider it a comedy. Okay. I would consider it like in the motion, like the best motion picture. That's yeah. what I would put it under. That's weird because one guy constantly bashes that movie. And Once so upon it, a time, yeah, he says it sucks and he hates hmm. it. At work, no, just or like just, this guy at university. Oh uh, no, how is your SJW class is going? Oh, they're not like <laughs> not high school. Your SJW degree, yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, f- women's rights is going really well. We're making some really good progress in my essays. No, oh, well, wow. oh, that's good. Did you get any A's? Uh, no, because I don't want to use my white privilege to get A's. Um, I get it. Yeah. Oh, hey, the camera is dead. Let's put a battery in. Is that what it says? Put the battery in? No, I just did. Oh, which no. battery? The, the other one? The one that was right there. Oh, yeah, then that's too bad. We'll just have to wait till that one's charged up. That yeah, doesn't matter. We've got some good content over this so, so far. But you're going to miss the good stuff for later. Yeah, well, this can, is the stuff can, that we can really yell about. Just let it charge and then no, I can, like, can change it up. Spread. See, I like the... Oh, it says Daniel Craig, Roman Griffin Davis, Leonardo DiCaprio, Taron Egerton, and Eddie Murphy for best actors. Hmm. What was Eddie Murphy in this year? Dolomite. Dolomite. What is, is that like on Netflix? Or is that That's a Netflix it's on one, Netflix. yeah. It's funny as hell, it's man. It's like Motown a little bit. Did yeah. Netflix yeah, have like. He was like one of the original like black sportation creators and he made like these super like influential movies. And then Daniel Craig would be, yeah. I would put him there. I'm surprised they didn't put Brad Pitt if they're nominating Once Upon a Time. Wait, why was Daniel Craig not for Knives Out? Yep. Yeah. For Best Actor. Well, Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's why the Golden Globes don't mean a fucking thing because of they're categories like that. I hope it's... Uh, who's hosting? Lion King animated? <laughs> Yikes. See, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, what was that? What was that? Someone posted, like, I'm glad they're finally the acknowledging that Lion goer. King was not a live action. Was it not a live action? Yeah. So weird because they just did not try. There's supposedly a mini trailer for Avatar today. Did anyone see that? The what? Avatar supposedly had a trailer today. I think it was a fake trailer. Was it official or fake? I know there was a fake one that came out. I would. It would have. That someone pieced it together. Um, it's hard to say. YouTube doesn't get them right away. Sometimes. Well, any of you care? If Avatar two comes, if you go to Twitter, I'm sure it'd be trending. You know what? I'm interested to see it after all these years of, um. Of hearing about it and him talking about it and then him actually fucking doing it, then I'm game. Let's let's watch it. I'll say this: I did watch it recently with Soph, mm. and it's it's good. 
It is. Good. You know what? It's not I think people have it. gotten fun uh, having fun shitting on it. But... I don't feel there's anything worth shitting on it. I think it's a good movie. I remember, overall. I tried like, watching as a kid, and I just just like just hated it. And I think I... I watched like a majority of it. I just don't remember it, and I just haven't bothered to like rewatch it because I do remember like the final fight and like where he was in the mech suit, like the big villain or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. So I know I did see like the movie. I just don't. I remember like no. just not caring for it. Mm. Hmm. No, I uh, I liked it. Uh, again, and just the fact that we recently watched it, I was like, "This is a, this is actually th- pretty good." I think ultimately the most impressive thing is the fact he's able to retain most of his actors to film all this shit mm-hmm. after how many years of a hiatus. Like, you think someone would have like gotten pissed and walked away, but obviously they see the value in it, and James Cameron is who he is. And yep. well, I so, mean, there you go. If I made the number one like box office movie for like so many years and then the director came back and said hey want to make another one yeah i'd be stupid to say no fuck you da, especially da, da, da. james cameron because he still has like clout mm-hmm. yeah this is a cool sequence with the they could have done so much 50 shades of ray 50 shades of ray <laughs> oh no um there's nothing else that has come up in golden globes stuff Best actor in supporting role, Tom Hanks, A Beautiful Day. Isn't he the main hmm. person in that? The fuck? Tom uh, Hanks is not the main person, actually. I found that out, too. Who really? Is? Doing theater checks. No, it, so from my Don't say anything, because I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's not, I don't know any like, oh, actual plot. I just oh. think it like goes through his career. Mm. And he's not the main person? No, I think he was the old version. Weird. Because mm. I know, it, I think it's somebody like telling a reporter like the story of his life or something. Oh, oh. okay. But I haven't seen a trailer, and I just saw like one scene out of context. So, I hope. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to say his name right. Hildur Giona Dotir. I said it totally wrong. He's oh. the guy that did the score for Joker. I fucking hope he wins. I mm. that score is unreal, and I hope that Spirit from Lion King fails because yeah. that's not in a the regular song. Oh. Fuckers. Best television series. They didn't have Game of Thrones. Snub. I'm actually best choked. television series. They've got Big Little Lies. Never seen it. The Crown. You said you was really good. Yeah. Killing Eve. The Morning Show, which everyone says doesn't like it. Oh wow. And Succession. And by everyone, I what? mean most of what so I've the seen. The Morning Show just I've not came out. Seen too. a single one of those fucking shows. I've I feel. Heard of like I feel two. Game of Thrones should have gotten some things. Some I don't know. Game of Thrones shouldn't have, but I do feel <laughs> that uh, Stranger Things should have. Oh yeah, Stranger, Stranger Things, Things this definitely pa- should. This season the was boys should have. No, I was gonna say the boys. The boys fucking should have. I don't give a shit. The boys should have got nominated yeah. for something. Yeah, that's that was unreal. If I had to pick one, I'd pick the Crown. But I thought Golden Globes never touched on a TV. That's what the Emmys were for, right? No, nope, they got the TV too. Best oh. best performance by an actor in a television series because Kit Harington is there for Game of Thrones, <laughs> which is so stupid because he did nothing. You think they'd put Peter Dinklage up? You'd think so, or I don't know. Peter's always getting the short end of the stuff. No, because he's won like 20 Emmys. Just think about what I just said. No, I I, I heard it. I'm just not going to acknowledge that because you've said it too many times. I don't think I've made fun of his height that often. I think so. Not that you've made fun of it. You've just said that joke. I've heard you said it. Said it. I've heard you say it. Um, Natasha Leone and Russian Doll. I'm excited for that. I hope Mm -hmm. she wins that because that show is really good. good. I liked it a lot. They're going to dap each other up. What else is there? Is there anything else that's somewhat awesome? No, that's about it. So I guess that's this is a little bit of a foreshadowing of the force projection that's going to happen later in a way, right? Ish? Maybe. I don't know. Slap hand. Slap hand. Like, they're supposed to be enemies, but I don't understand why they're so, like... Because they're connected. Yeah. So... I think what's well, they're hap- just confused by it, everything, right? So they just they look at it as a profound thing. They're right? so hormonal teens. And my guess is this: is that he sees the old version of himself in her. Yeah, what he and been. so he's he's able to acknowledge that, bro. You just cock blocked him. Yeah, no kidding. She blew the house down. Yeah, so she sees the hypocrisy on the one side through him and then yeah. he sees the good side or whatever and all that shit. Mm. Okay, boys. I'm mad enough to say this. So far, this is much better than I remember it being. Oh. oh. Next up, Guardians 2. Yeah. Uh. Why doesn't he just force throw her? He's I don't think he's going out. full out here. 
Stop throwing things. Oh, wow. That'd be very helpful to have the force just to stop yourself from falling down. Oh, my God. On the way to church, I almost ate shit on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Nice. Could really use the force right now. Ooh. Maybe you were just paranoid. This is my little pony. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Like another, like, do you ever just wonder what is these? going on inside oh, somebody's yeah. head? Wow. You know what they need to do is a funny parody movie. Yeah. Like a legit funny parody movie. I Not- hear they're interested in, uh, like, what's his name? Who's the guy who's Happy Hogan? Is it John Favreau? Yeah. yeah. He wants to do a- another Christmas special. What was his first Christmas special? No, like another Star Wars oh, Christmas special. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. So how the hell did he get out? Because he would have fallen on top of him. Oh, sorry. He would have fallen on top of him. Well, because he saw it coming down, maybe, and he was able to do something. Maybe he made a force bubble. Maybe he made a force bubble. What? Is he would have seen Luke then just chilling there. No. Well, he was just he got blindsided. Just be cool. Okay. It, just for once, be cool. All right. It hit no, him in the back. I gave it praise. Now I can yeah. take some points. Oh, shush up. I think too. because it hit Luke in the back or it fell on his back, then it was like, oh, no, and he can't get up. Which is probably super depressing because he's an old guy and probably can't get it up to begin with. hi Hey, he gets lots of tip milk. Yeah, I don't think that's good for anybody. Oh. It was blue and greenish. That's like what it looks like when it's moldy. <laughs> that's why it's so tangy. It's Tang Town. Tang Town. Oh, shit. He's our last hope. Somebody get the shtick. Get the shtick. Turn stick. the ship around. That was quick. Yeah, that was quick. When did it stop raining? Probably about the time that it took her for, to walk from one place to the other yeah, I guess to so. get into the ship. Was she making it rain? Is that why he went to go stop her? Maybe her anger caused the rain Ooh. to show up. Well, it's a good thing, too, because then that flare would have a tough time lighting up. Well, yeah. Yeah. That'd be very unfortunate. This part was cool. Yoda, yeah. Oh, look. It's adult Yoda. I wonder if adult Yoda can see baby Yoda in astro form. Hmm. But would you have any reason to? Um, I don't know. Just to kind of keep an eye on himself. Someone said that in Attack of the Clones, there was a ba- there was like a girl Yoda. Yes. And that the canon is, or the, there's an actual thing where Yoda might have gone down and dirty with a female Yoda, no. and that's why there's a baby Yoda. I think somebody said that, or George Lucas or something, it was stated that they're just born out of the Force, oh. like Anakin was. There you go. Anakin was just born out of the Force? Yeah, he was. Mm-hmm. That's the whole mystery behind him, right? He's an immaculate conception. Oh. Still needed the vessel. Like, are oh. you talking about Attack and Clones, the movie or the... the I, I think the movie or the show, I don't remember, but someone was mentioning was that they remember seeing a female Yoda. <laughs> this guy's just having a gay old time. Also, was that an actual puppet? Yes. Yeah. I remember everybody loved that because they used a real puppet. Mm. You know, we're such... Easily amused creatures sometimes, and then all of a sudden we're total bitches Mm -hmm. as people. So why do you have, why are one of the Game of Thrones, like, things of alcohol you have there black? That's the Night's Watch. Is that, like, the only one? Yeah, and it really pisses me off because it really throws off (laughs) the whole set because I can't put it in the middle where it belongs. Because then it throws off the evenness of everything else. So it's like oh, yeah. they needed one more house. And they should have put House Martell out of any of them. Fuck oh. you, Game of Thrones alcohol providers. Yeah, yeah they don't have that. That was Diageo. They came out with a special edition, tracked a few down in overseas and some so, local. Do you have the full collection now? This is all of them, yeah. Does Nick? How many does Nick have? He has them all, too. Oh, nice. Yep. Got to catch them all. No, I, I wasn't invited to the Game of Thrones scotch searching party. Awkward. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't privy to that information. So, did you buy double to drink, or just like one of each? I did. No, I I just bought one of each, but I did buy two of the Night's Watch, which is the old ban. They're and all well. The thing is, I told him, just do double double black. I told him he can buy the scotches regular and just drink them, and yeah. then replenish the bottle. I could. Hmm. The bottle's the actual the collector more than okay. anything, but not the case. Sorry, the case, the case, and the bottle. Yeah, are the bottles different? Like, what do they look like? Are they just a logo? Well, it's just it's just each like the house uh, like Stark, Targaryen, Baratheon, Tully, uh, Tyrell, 
and so is Lannister Greyjoy. the one beside Night's Watch? That's Lannister. Lannister. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is a lag of Ula. All I know is Lannister and Stark. I think that's Targaryen beside Stark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I have no idea the other names. Surprisingly, the Baratheon was one of the most difficult ones to get a hold of. It was so weird which one, because the, the Lannister one was fucking yeah, everywhere. That one and the Mart, Mart, uh, uh, Tyrell one were hard, and then the Oban, the Night's Watch one was like whatever, but like Stark uh, and Targaryen you can get anywhere. Uh, you know what they didn't need? Tully. They didn't actually need uh, Tully. Keep the Greyjoy, even out the fucking thing, and then... Yeah, I guess you could have brought it down, but... I, th- I think the, the I think the Martell was the one they should have done for sure. For shizzle, can you still buy them? Like, or are they just done now? That's all they got. That's the that's the full collection. But they're never going to put on any other ones. No, I, I don't think so. I, honestly, no joke though. I thought about like writing them and say, "You guys need to release like one more because this is a logistical nightmare. It looks stupid, in my opinion." But really bothers. Put me. it on Twitter. I would. Well, I would say I'm a logis- I think a logistical nightmare would be trying to fit 500 people in a room that only seats 50. But you know, sure. sorry, visual one nightmare. extra scotch. It's a visual is- nightmare. <laughs> one extra scotch is. Sure. Yeah. Hey, it's like the gold coins from John Wick. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's the John Wick of Star Wars, Something except like the opposite, and he's a douchebag and a silly hat. Remember that solo ending that was like leading into a sequel that'll never happen. Mm. Pepper which Ridge solo remembers. endings? With Darth. Darth Maul. I don't Actually, it could lead to Obi Wan solo movie. Yeah, actually. Or it's solo a series. series now. They need to they need to do an Obi Wan No, they don't. You know what they should do? A Qui Gon Jinn and Darth Maul series where it's like the two of them kind of starting off together. They don't know each other, but they know of each other and they all like I don't know. I don't know if that would work. I think Quake, well, I think Liam Neeson wants like his open to coming back because he loved Star Wars, didn't he? I don't know, probably. Yeah. Well, I think so. I don't remember. Like, I don't know Liam Neeson as an actor, but I think I heard that he like would be open to like reprising his role. Hmm. Which again is like a no shit statement. So I still don't know why they're like beefing this entire time. Yeah. Well, and again, she's just she's not telling anybody anything. What the hell? No, they did this. Okay. They did this for the, like, uh, this is the way that it seems like. It seems like they wanted her to have power over him. Mm -hmm. And all of this had no, almost no relevance to it at all. Like, there was no point to any of this. They could have just been able to say what's going on. But they wanted, I I don't even know what they wanted to do. There's lots of moments... It's also weird how, like, like, they don't really, like, they're not going anywhere in these shots. Mm-mm. Like, Luke and Leia just stayed in one spot. They've stayed in this fucking ship, like, floating randomly. Yeah, Are they still under attack, yeah. or did they get it free? Did, it didn't travel very much like the Force mm-hmm. Awakens did, where, like, oh, they're in this planet, this planet, this planet. It's like, no, it's basically the ship. These guys are the only ones that are traveling, and that's it. Mm-hmm. I really wish they would have said what the whole point of it was. I really don't like when that happens. It's like the easiest thing to have is a conversation with the one guy mm. that could get enough people on his side to cause a mutiny. Yeah. You don't even fill him in. And it pisses me off too because then it led to the whole casino thing. Like yeah. if they would have just said what's going on, then that's it. Tell Finn I say what up. Like so, I, I get the only thing would be they want to teach him a lesson because she said there's no leaders, yeah, dying heroes and no leaders and stuff. But even then, I don't know. So it's, it's a bit flat. Mm. So what are your guys? I don't know if you we if you talked about this or if it's happened. When I was off the show for like the October area. Yeah. But what are your thoughts on like all the main three? Like Finn, Ray, Poe saying after this like last movie, they're like retiring. They're not coming back to do anything else. Good. Not retiring. They're like from the Star, Star Wars, Wars world. Yeah, yeah. Their their story's done technically. Mm-hmm. As far as and and even like, I don't know what point there would be to come back for it. I, I again, I don't not knowing how the conclusion of Rise of Skywalker will happen, but maybe they're they're just gonna end this off because otherwise they're gonna always continue 
with the Skywalker name in some way. They're going to, you know, that kind of stuff. So mm-hmm. I think it leaves them open to explore other movies. But now that we know that most of the new trilogies are dead in the water and only the series are going forward right now, you, you have no idea what's going to happen next, really. Yeah, I just think it's it's fine that mm. they're not going to be in any of the other ones. Yeah. Because, yeah, then it's just going to always constantly be like, oh, what about this? And what about that? And how does yeah. this tie to the old one? And does it have to tie into the old one? Yeah. And all the while you're sitting well, there being like, nope, yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Well, eventually, though, they they might revisit these, these storylines, but way down the way. But they will have to follow nonetheless because... It's canon. It's canon, right? Just like Marvel. Anything they make, it's it's canon. Done. Unfortunately. They've established it. Well, it doesn't have to be, unfortunately. It's some in, stuff's good. Some in stuff's some good. cases, it's unfortunate. Yeah. I like those odds. <laughs> but, again, that's what the What If series is all about, which is great, I think. That'll be fun. A What If series for Star Wars would be hype. Yeah. Like, what if Anakin killed Obi-Wan? Mm-hmm. No, that's that wouldn't be hype. Why? It's a what if series. They have so many Star Wars stories. That There's was already one a bunch example of what ifs. out of the countless others that could have been in there. I'm not saying you have one series solely based on that. Like I what don't if. know. <laughs> what if Anakin never joined the dark side? Mm-hmm. Easy. Then he'd be a light Jedi master. How'd you find a, co- a suit to fit her? Is what I want to know. Wow. At her height. Wow, Vasily. How dare you? No, like it's very Why? specific. It looks like it was tailored for her. Yeah, come on, man. Tailor made. Same with Finn. like they like even Finn. Yeah, hey, he's got more of a, a common frame, a re- I would say. regular physique. Yeah. yeah. Also, same with there. Benicio's character. Yeah, like they just happen to find the perfect fitting outfits mm-hmm. for this oh, thing. Shit, and well, where did they have a bunch of these outfits? Yeah, but you'd have to go through all of them and then put them on. Well, and I assume try it was a them. sizing system. Like he might be... know where everything is, though, too, mind you. Do you think he'd still remember? I yeah. Don't know. Wait, the uniforms are this way. Wouldn't he, wouldn't they just make him focus on his uniform? Maybe. I Maybe. thought he said he was a janitor. Like no. earlier in the movie, so if he was a janitor, he just know where everything is. Yeah. I thought he said he was using the janitor as a way to uh, trick Rose. No, he was he was the sanitation guy. Sanitation. Yeah. I told you to tell him you was in a sanitarium, not sanitation. But wasn't he a soldier that was on the planet in the first one? He showed up on he that first up, one. And they, they still have side jobs. <laughs> Come on. You think they're just a soldier? <laughs> fucking finish cleaning the fucking toilets, and then we're going to shoot this village up. Okay, fine. Just imagine you fucking decimate whole like tribes, and you have to go back to work and clean the shitter. Yeah, you'd think they'd give you, like, some time after to just not do that. Like, can I just leave the toilets for one day? No. Snoke's been sitting in that chair all day. Do you think Snoke has, like, a little hole in that <laughs> chair that you just shit out of? And his robe? He kind yeah. of looks like gold member, but, like... Yeah. <laughs> I like gold! <laughs> uh, oh, that's a fresh one. Yes, that's good. Oh, oh fuck. Gold that was always disgusting. <laughs> The skin? Yeah. <laughs> when my coworker said that they, they're not good movies to show her kids, I'm like, they're great movies to show what your kids. What's wrong with her? Yeah. What a bitch. It's fairly clean. Well, I didn't say that. She's pretty awesome. She's cool, but it just seemed like she was a little misguided in that. <laughs> He's <aspect>. like, go away. <laughs> go to the depot. Go through it. Yeah. Well, he would know because he would work there. He's a friend from work. How are they going to get there? That's a good question. I love how Poe's outfit kind of just looks like he just walked onto like set like this. He looks like, yeah. but he looks like a young Han Solo. Exactly. I was going to say that too. Like he's just got that fucking look going. Well, I was, uh, yeah, that was like right from the get go. He's kind of well. He is the Han Solo boy. of their group. Yeah, basically. And it's sad that you know. Uh, it, oh wow! Wow, it's a good oh. thing that that was there. Finn, yeah. Okay. Finn so. She doesn't tell anybody the fucking plan. Mm. Causes a mutiny, okay? Doesn't even tell the one guy that could start the mutiny, and then starts shooting people. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like all she needed, to, all she had to do was tell him. But no, she decided to fuck everything up. You know, there are only like uh, so stupid. three Star Wars movies where C three PO is completely golden. Yeah, 
That's crazy. Mm. He's silver in the other ones. You know, again, the force like uh, the force awakens counts because at the very end he was completely golden. Oh, yeah. they and all my up. followers fucking bitched me out saying, "Um, actually, he was golden for two seconds in the force awakens at the very end." But yeah, and Revenge of the Sith was the other one. I could never work there. There's too many bridges like atop really high stairs. Like, and by stairs, I mean like endless yeah. voids that you can. I just follow. don't understand. Yeah, no, like, what's the like, purpose? No railings. No railings. No that's, nothing. <laughs> that's why it's funny. But honestly, that. but like, what's the purpose of not having a floor there? Like, I don't know. What's the purpose of not having railings? But like in general, what is coming up and down? Like nothing. You just fall and that's it. Here comes the one character. Oh, that she's in Game of Thrones. Fucking had more to do, and because they had an all in fucking marketing, and yeah. they didn't give her dick. This is the chick from Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, Gwendolyn Christie. Oh, that's not her. That's Leia. Welcome back, Patient Zero. All right. That would hurt. Okay. All you Feminism. have to do was say one thing. <laughs> wow. Hey, sorry for shooting your friends. See, she just looks too old to be having fucking pink hair. <laughs> Aren't you a little that's old why to have so pink weird, hair? I think. <laughs> wow. No, I don't think that's a thing. I think the pink hair suit, I think it's purple, isn't it? It's more purple. Her outfit's purple. I don't know. It looks fucking pink to me. It looks like bubble gum. Uh, you can go either way. The top, I guess, is more pink than like this. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. But either way. She's too I old think to be fine. acting like that. <laughs> I don't think it looks terrible. It doesn't look bad. I'm just saying it looks. That's why it looks so out of place to me. Yeah. It's like those pictures on Facebook of like old people that are rockers at like 80. There was this one like 60 year old uh, who is like a teacher or a prof. Like during finals, and she was wearing like an off white shirt, which is like a hype beast clothing mm. brand. The the off white shirt was a hype beast clothing brand. That's what, like what it is. Like weird, just, no weird. Like a supreme brand. Who the fuck was she? Why the fuck would they have her have like this random two three lines here and there? Who knows? This is the other thing that bothers me. Oh, so yeah. she does everything wrong, obviously because Leia told her to do so. Mm-hmm. And then they give her the hero's death of like going down. So then we have to, we can't feel bad for her, even though it's like you could have no, just you have made to this feel all bad better. Yeah, exactly. Or we're supposed to feel bad, or we're supposed to be like, oh, she's an honorable character. I don't fucking know. And they try redeeming her, but mm-hmm. it's like, you know what? No. This scene was really good with the Avengers theme song. I've never heard that edit. You've never seen it? No. It's good. It's really good. They also had one with the immigrant song. Those are some of my favorite ones. Hmm. The Lord of the Rings one is the best, though, because they cut it so well. This is uncomfortable. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, no. Why are you fucking throwing Kylo under the bus like that? Look at all the name drops. Yeah, your fucking face. This man is ugly. Yeah. And they never explained his look either. Like, he looks like when the mummy was like halfway done with the one dude and he was eating the scarab through his cheek. Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, have you seen Jack Ryan yet? Yeah, he's in it. <laughs> I didn't realize until like yeah. the last episode. I'm like, that's the fucking mummy. It's Emotep. And then I kept, I kept calling Sophia on Naxuna Moon. <laughs> she did not like it. I bet she liked it better than the donkey. I bet. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. surprised there is not a supercut of him saying of a Ramsey yelling donkey, mm-hmm. and then they have <laughs> donkey from Shrek be instead of saying Shrek saying chef. Hmm. Chef, chef, what is it, chef? What does that even mean? All her knowledge. I don't think she has enough. That's why she went for training. Jeez. She's a good yeller, though. Hmm. There are some people that are really good at yelling. Sebastian Stan has a great yell. Like you those clearly scenes... do not watch Dragon Ball, sir. There are no, tons man. of people who are great yellers. I'm talking about like... People you can see actors. Yeah, man. Okay, don't disrespect. They fucking scream. We're not scream. disrespecting anything. Yeah. What's your problem? Who's to say they just don't loop it and they're not actually screaming that long? Because I see it. Yeah, sure, That's sure, great, sure, sure, but I'm sure, saying sure. it's different between being on a booth. You know what? And- I, I'd be game to see a live action Dragon Ball. That'd be. Oh, cool. my God. I don't want to see one. I'm telling you, Zack Snyder, I genuinely think, can make a good, at least fight like coordination yeah, and shit and like that. Yeah, and then he can make two movies and not release his cut. No! <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> Had to. <laughs> <laughs> he it's just real. released. Didn't he release today that Superman picture? 
Yeah, but people say it's photoshopped. It's not an actual real photo. Like he just photoshopped a regular pic. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he says my Superman and stuff. It's almost like he's doing this like thing right now where it's like this could have been mine and this could have been mine and this could have been mine. So, Release the Snyder Cut. To be fair, he has been doing this for a while, like the exact same thing. It's not like he's just started doing it. Really? Is, yeah, I haven't noticed it for then. the past two years. Still, it's kind of one of those things as the director, you just like leave it. I understand you're like you might want your version to come out, but I don't know. It seems like it's kind of too late because Warner Brothers bounced back and seems like. But I mean, the fact that if it is true that it is more than like they only use 10 percent, this will mean vast. We're talking about last week. That's fucking crazy. That's a way different conversation than we had. Well, I told you. I was trying to no, tell you. No, you make. said you said that they cut 30 or 40% of the film. And I said that still doesn't change the fact that Ben Affleck looked like he didn't give a flying fuck. Okay? However, 90% of a film is vastly different than 40%. Well, I didn't know it was 90. No, I know. we. That's what we talked about last week because it was just released that it was like a three and a half hour, four hour movie. Yep. And everyone's pretending to be the biggest uh, biggest fan of DC and that they, they want this movie to come out. And it's like, do you just saying it in Twitter doesn't mean anything. It's like when Michael Scott declared bankruptcy in an office. Oh, no. It's so weird that this is technically like a new episode of The Office they released. What, oh, this? Fuck. No, not this. Sorry, like the Saving Private. Or not, what is it? Threat level midnight. Threat level midnight. I don't know why I was on saving. It's not a new episode. It's just the movie itself. But it's twenty four minutes, so it's kind of like it could be like considered for a sure. New but it's like the movie as they were watching it in the show. That's what makes that. it awesome. It's like start to finish, like you got the movie. I just don't know if it'll be watchable. Like honestly, probably not. But you know what's funny? Billie Eilish uses the song for the Michael Scarn dance mm. in one of her songs. She's a huge Office fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, but she did that thing with Rain Wilson, and she failed miserably. She called him Dwight. I remember. And he's how did like, she, how did she not know that um, <laughs> that Millie's ex boyfriend was a magician? But she also said that she was really nervous, like yeah, because she didn't know he was coming. They always know they're coming. No, they know it's happening. Now, when he gets there, it's a different story. <laughs> what they should have done in this. Now that we're talking about The Office, when that one lady comes in and he has those slideshows of him and his eyes, and he's like, this is a place that I go to. I don't let anybody go. Who took those pictures? Ryan. <laughs> is this foreshadowing to her being a Sith? Oh, maybe. Because that is a big theory going I still think on. that's a clone. What is a clone? The Dark Ray is a clone. That's on a real really? photo. Why not? Is it clone. a real photo? I never saw I it thought in the, the trailer. clones were simply uh, about the stormtroopers. Yeah, it doesn't mean they can't clone anybody. But they've never proven that they clone people. They don't, like, those stormtroopers are different people. No, not now. But in the original clones were, like, the Clone Wars, those were all that's, products that's of based... Jango Fett. The only one that, mm. yeah. You think you can turn him. Look at that word on his head. I didn't even notice that, and I'll never not this see it. So this is what I just found so cringy. His whole speech... Where you assume he knows what's happening, mm-hmm. and he's just going to catch him, and then he doesn't, and he just kills him. Well, he's turning it as he's turning his hand, yeah. so then that might that's the trick, right? Like, he turned that lightsaber in his right hand while he turned his hand, like his left hand. The other thing, in the beginning, I don't know if I still can, and I don't know if this is me giving consolation to where I want to give consolation. Um... But I think that that might have been him posturing and saying, I can see everything. And that's just him trying to build his own hype up to scare them and be like, he can see everything. This scene was pretty sweet. Their fight, their whole Mm -hmm. fight sequence was all, I thought it was great. This is really sweet. It just looks so nice with just that red background. It's super clean. Mm -hmm. Their outfits are dope. Also, like the fucking red guards always. That's what I was saying. Yeah, the red guard outfits are are awesome. Does anyone know their actual like? Why don't they do some like evasive maneuvering and stop going straight? They're pulling a freaking Rick on here. Yeah. No, big F. Big Tona. 
Ooh. Nice. I wonder that was where fair, though. That. that was a fair statement. It was like what you said earlier in the episode. What did I say earlier? It's kind of like it's a never-ending circle of, like, yeah. who gives up first. Basically. Yeah. And all the fighting right now. Mm-hmm. Those fucking saber whips are pretty dope. Yeah. yeah or really electrical nice whips. Kingsman too. And they must be, their armor must be really good, even though it looks super uncomfortable. I just don't know how they see. Mm. But still a badass, like. At least see that good. Oh, yeah. That hilt. Mm. It's very helpful in those situations. That's as goofy as it was when it first came out. You're like, how about now? <laughs> I fucking liked it. I don't know why people didn't like it. Hey, These are fucking new. swords. It's just new. Yeah. I guess. But it's like super helpful. Use your force powers. Use all the force powers. I think there was a like. Didn't Lady Gaga go as look like one of them in one of the more or less <laughs> the award shows? I, I, don't, I don't think she meant to. I think she just had. She well, this was it was before this yeah. even came out, so she wouldn't know. The inspiration from her, <laughs> yeah, because they look like knights. Like yeah. they actually have like the Holy shoulder shit. pads and the stuff. Yeah. I nice. forgot how violent these deaths were. Oh yeah, I yeah. remember thinking that too. Like, holy shit, those were violent. It was legit. I think I was oh, blood. I remember this one. Fuck. Okay, yeah, this is a better movie than I thought. But overall. even in the game, they got rid in the Fallen Order game. They didn't have dismemberment, and I think that's like a Star Wars thing. And now he's going. So like, there's not blood shot. here, and I don't think they really show anybody getting their head sliced off. And I know in like the Star Wars game they didn't do that, and I don't know in any other mm. ones if they've shown people getting like their heads cut off. Yeah. I think this should let it happen. Hmm. I think so, too. Realism, hello. Yeah, it should eventually change. This is my seat now. Mm-hmm. It's so nice how everything just, like... Also, what happened to the red? I think it was, like, an actual, like, literal backdrop, and, like, it just okay. burnt up. Someone broke the projector. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, underglow Back. for your car. <laughs> yeah. Walks in. Snoke, what are you feeling today? We haven't done blue in a while. Just make it blue. Yeah, yeah is that, the, like, drapes burning? Could or that's be, like yeah. an actual person, like mm, cloth. That's, that's a person. Oh, because she remember she threw that part of the lightsaber at the at the thing, so it could have been a screen break or whatever. She kind of looks like a young Robin right here, like, like your Botsky. I know she always reminds me mm. of Kira Knightley. Actually, someone I I forget who said it, but someone had said that Daisy Ridley is a more approachable Kira Knightley. And I'm like, that is a great. She's got a little bit softer uh, facial features and expressions, I yeah. guess you could say. So I, I could see that. I can see it too. So are we saying that like the reveal that her parents aren't like anything special is a fake out? I think yeah, it's I a think fake so. out. I think JJ is gonna fix that in the next one, and they'll be able to fucking make something happen. Like everything that they made and everyone was complaining about this movie. It's like they could just reverse whatever the fuck they want in the next one. Basically. They could be like, nope, this is a fake. Well, he's so romantic. He's quite romantic. And that's just and that's just it. This is a small thing that they, they could play it off like he was messing with her right now just to get her on his side. True. And it's not a far stretch to say, no, your family actually was something legit. Your family is my family now. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Jedi can have force babies through that like what if they were in that like that thing where she was on the island and he was there i wonder how far they'd be able to take the touching you know it'd be like skype sex (laughs) but there's no such thing as real skype sex but they can make it happen because they're jedi yeah i gotta wonder why it took her so long to make this plan to like help them like you're just sitting there could you not have turned around and like tried to fire at him this shot was awesome. I remember seeing it in the theater. When I think of oh, this yeah. movie, I think of like the lightsaber pop in her hand, like that yeah. scene, and then this thing coming up right now. And I don't understand why it took him so long to oh, use light speed. Oh, she's gonna hold his hand, but they're not married. No. Oh, they're yeah. doing the thing again. It's tug of war. This is cool. Yeah. This scene, and then the one with the actual shit. And going all through. she has to do is just flip the switch right now. Hit the switch. No, because they could have just shot him right now and it been done and over with. He just had to wait it out. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You know what? We're just going to assume everything goes to plan. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> and hold it by their faces just enough. Oh, Let's God. just wait one extra second. PTSD just a- to fucking Game of Thrones season one finale. I remember watching that live, though. I'm like, oh, they're not going to kill Ned Stark. 
watch the next episode, yeah, immediately pretty, kills Ned Stark. I'm pretty sure everybody thought that. Especially because the first episode started with him cutting off that dude's head. Yeah. I didn't like how much of a bitch they made him. Like, mm. he just kept yelling all the time. Fuck, you can... You know what? They do a good job of, like, showing, like, power, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you can... You feel power mm. happening. Like, it's not... And, well, and that's what pissed me off about the Leia Heisman, mm. because they've been able to show... They've been able to show power, like, and you can kind of... Like, look at that. Ooh. That's fucking awesome. Amazeball. That's fucking wild. That is such an amazing shot. I don't even care if that's not how lightsaber works. That's an amazing shot. Lightspeed. Lightspeed, sorry. <laughs> what did I say? Lightsaber. lightsaber. What an idiot. <laughs> what, what an loser. idiot. You are one pathetic And now Poe's sad because he's like, oh, I hated her, but she actually saved me. My bad. Yeah, that, okay, so and that's what pisses me off because now you're kind of forced to say that. It's like, fuck her, forced. man. Forced. to Get it? For, watching Star uh, Wars. Uh, yeah. Yeah, shut up, Rose. <laughs> How the but, hell were they the only ones? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, again, out of everything. They were in the zone. <laughs> but then again, like, some stormtroopers could just be, like, just chilling. Yeah. They have what you call plot armor. Hmm. Well. Which was the case with many of the Game of Thrones characters. Were they not, like, characters. two feet away from them? Now you shoot? But they might have ran over to see, like, the attack. Yeah, look at this. So who is this again? This is BB-8. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at him. It's a good thing that he found a seat that fits him. <laughs> mm. Mind you, I don't think anybody sits in them, right? Mm, yeah, they do. Yeah, people it's don't. Man, it's all man it's up, a, right? yeah. Okay. Single, I think, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why don't they give everybody bulletproof armor, then? She's got probably got that Baskar oh, yeah. stuff, right? Like the Mandalorian? Is Do you think that's the same stuff? I would, wouldn't oh. believe I would doubt it. If she can withstand... They're both silver, shiny, and bulletproof. Yeah, if she could withstand a blaster shot... Holy fuck, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's possible. Not all the stormtroopers, obviously, but right. her for sure. She's a general, commander, whatever. Holy shit. Also, there's no way Finn is winning this fight. What's what's uh, Gwendolyn Christie's... What's the character name? Phasma. Like, Phasma is... Look, he's fucking... Phasma. So <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Oh... But she's still alive, just like last time. Mm. So she can come back for another two-minute cameo next movie. Honest to God. She deserved better. Also, what, look at his pen protector is right on his nipples. How, like, how do you actually remember someone like that? <laughs> Even somebody that was so low. On, like, I mean, yeah. I. she obviously would remember the one dude that, like, you know, left and it was under her watch and stuff. But what to say, like, you yeah, didn't care. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> well, you know what's funny? We've been going for like an hour and a half or so. This movie could end right after this sequence, but it doesn't. Mm. Yep. He's got daddy and granddaddy issues. That's a real tough... And mommy issues. He's got a lot of issues. He does. He just has issues. Yeah. We know where she's going. Why is his voice like that? That's because it's just how he sounds. I get they want him to make him snivelly, but at least in the first one, they made him more commanding. Yeah. Like this, he's just a bitch. Oh, oh shit. Damn. The Vader pitch. So once you get him a badge that says Supreme Leader so people don't forget. Mm-hmm. Now, this was a hype pass. Like, I really like the shot when there were the speeders and the red shit came. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was nice. Well, it seems like red was very important to this movie. Yes. Yeah. This movie is brought to you by the color red. These things were cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't get the point of them, but they were really cool. They're uh, vapor or uh, vapor <laughs> vaporions. <laughs> oh no, they were fucking. What yeah. are the thing? What are the ice ones? They're actually ice ones. Yeah, I know there's an ice. I can't remember the name though. That was vaporion. Like a it's vaporion. It's, it's, it's an evolution of Eevee for sure. Either one hundred percent. This planet is full of Eevees. Eve Eevee Eevee. No, Eevee, it's Eevee. Eevee, the Eevee. Eeveelutions is evolution. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, they just happened to be the ones that got underneath mm-hmm. it. Come on. Shoot Rose square between <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> I got him. Of course, my joint. He's it. He's like the worst owner in this one. Yeah. It's literally like the uh, like Rick Grimes and Carl relationship in the early seasons of The Walking Dead. 
Oh, yeah. Rick would say, hey, don't leave the house. And Carl would just leave the house. Yeah. And Rick would have no idea. Are they playing Battleship now? Basically. That guy's playing Galaga. He <laughs> thought we wouldn't notice, but we but did. We did. How does Fury look at these? He turns. Seems exhausting. Someone made a meme of that. And it was like showing Tony calling him out. And then it was like, next Spider-Man 3 villain. Yeah. <laughs> because it's always someone who Tony has done wrong. The Gallagher guy? Yeah, it was literally Gallagher guy's <laughs> next villain. <laughs> that was his name. Fuck. That oh, looks... no. See, it's so weird how they can make that look so real. Mm. Yet, like, uh, aliens look so fucking stupidly fake. Mm. And again, Leah doing the Heisman looking so cheap. Jeez. Come on, Ryan. Hmm. <laughs> Well, again, we've said this a thousand times. It went through a series of individuals and focus groups, and then they released it. Yeah. Like, they don't just release this shit. This isn't like a B-movie straight-to-DVD type of deal. So there was enough people that were like, this is cool. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck? It's so weird how the general consensus is everybody hated that, yet test screening, everybody didn't. Yeah, it depends who's... Well, they also said that they there was the whole screening for, I think it was Justice League or Batman versus Superman got a standing ovation. Wow! <laughs> yeah, it was a but cut. it was a screening of people that were at like executives and stuff. Oh, so they were pretty much like Forced enjoying to. whatever they liked, yeah. kind of thing. And they probably don't have a clue. See, fuck, that's so clean. Yeah. So there's red sand underneath. That's so weird, it. though. Like, how would they actually set that up? Why would he put it in his mouth? He <laughs> doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Salt. Because he's pulls a grunt. Out a, pulls out a steak. Good. I've been looking for this all day. <laughs> Marinate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be good tomorrow. <laughs> so would this be done? Like, no, I guess it would all be CGI then. Yeah. So I'm going to see if they actually, like, but even for the footsteps, would they actually have to set that up or they just did that in post? Um, they probably didn't post. Hmm. Maybe in like small sections of it, they're like, here, let's put some red shit on the ground and then put some salt and you walk on it. Like that looks sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like all that red shit would looks really good. Oh, how sick is it, by the way, that Ke that two Keanu Reeves movies are coming out in a fucking month. Yeah. And now they're trying to call it Keanu Day. They're trying to like. Amazing. Officially no. But they're not on the same day, are they? It is. Yeah, same day. Shut the fuck up. Which is up. stupid because he's competing awesome. against himself. That's so awesome. Well, it's not his choice. Uh, I bet you that. Um, uh, I bet you they'll both do equally as good. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone's going to buy double feature tickets. Yeah, exactly. That's what the theater should do is double feature uh, Matrix 4 and John Wick 4. Yeah. Do you see that IGN put out like. Their breathtaking man of the year was Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird how people's person of the year or whatever is Greta, the little girl. Yeah. But 96% was for the Hong Kong protesters. <laughs> Literally oh, yeah. all other, like, Greta had 2%, I think. There was also Trump a Trump had one and someone else had one. There was a, there was a young 14-year-old boy that actually made something that actually did something instead of yelling in a, mic in a microphone. And it's been, like, revolutionary for mm. clearing plastic in the water. Hmm. which is like a huge fucking issue yeah. right like or just clearing just the stuff from the water is a big deal yeah i just don't understand that like but they gave it to a girl that was just screaming yeah but they even tried to do a vote in like literally 96 percent yeah majority you're gonna mm. give it to someone else but from what i understand for a while now time magazine doesn't actually pay their journalists mm. oh so which isn't a really good idea you Wait, know, if you want to be per, like, or they don't pay a lot of their journalists. Okay. So a lot of these people are writing for them that aren't getting paid. So they're just. Why would you write? Oh, shit. I guess for experience, maybe. What? But. Cue the Avengers How music. does he have time? Yeah. How does he have fucking time to scream? Woo. Yeah. He's going so fast. Porgs were literally in this movie just to sell toys. Absolutely. Basically. And I wonder what it's going to be like in the Rise of Skywalker. I bet you they won't have them. I think BB-8 will probably be the. Merch seller. No, I... I you, well, easy, buddy. Um, I think what they would have done is... What would they, they have done? Did they do Rise of Skywalker before Mandalorian came out? Did they finish it? Obviously, right? Yeah. So yeah, why? so, yeah, there's no Baby Yoda in Rise of Skywalker. They cannot hear each other. There's no way they can hear each other. Well, I think they were in they have, mics. They have comms. 
No, but it's too loud. <laughs> I feel like, but like in the army, it's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. But at least if like they're, they're like she could hear it because she's enclosed, right? Yo, I'm surprised they haven't figured out a proper way to retract the gun so it doesn't get destroyed every time they go through tight spaces. Oh yeah, like come on. But I mean, I, my guess is they probably thought that they would be like it would be easy. <sighs> yeah. Like how many anticipate? Hey, we're gonna go into a crystal cave. Well, but they have like this, what this thing many has been times. through. Mm-hmm. That's why the shape's like that. That's yeah. why the shape's so handy. This is such a like weirdly designed ship, but like also like really creative. Yeah, definitely. And this thing's pretty dope too. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks, Finn. Finn just loves like keeping the audience informed of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go down the middle right away. He's he is random exposition at its best. <laughs> yeah. This Captain Obvious pulls up. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we need someone to say exactly what's going on, even though you can see it. Okay, give it to Finn and Rose. <laughs> Fucking Rose. And we'll let Poe just do stuff. Yeah. We'll just let Poe look angry These guys are getting and like picked off like grunt. crazy. Oh, he just said it. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting picked off. We're getting picked off. They didn't know that. Rose, go. Picked off. <laughs> Except you, Rose. You, Rose, keep going. Like, <laughs> Rose, you got this. Let's go all the way. Uh, Com 7, 9, 12, 5, and 8. Can you guys switch comms for just a second? Uh, <laughs> what about me? No, you just stay there, Rose. Okay, everybody, just let Rose do her thing, and we're just going to slink away. <laughs> and then they Homer Simpson into the bushes while Rose goes straight hey, forward. Guys. I love you. Yeah. But Finn, yeah, what I, about our adventure? He's like, I, <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but I kind of have a crush on Ray. I'm not sure how mm. that's going, but I really want to see it play I'm out. I'm just super busy right now. Ray <laughs> <laughs> uh, is giving me the fucking eyes. I don't, I don't know what you're really... I, I don't know what to do with these situations. I, what do I do with my hands? Yo, I got to wonder. He knows what the parameter is for the blaster, so why doesn't he just go in there last minute and just... You mean from the sides? Yeah. Mean, yeah. You're, I'm also, sure why is no one gone. else shooting And I'm pretty him, sure though. he's dead right now. There's no way he's making it this far. But, like, why is no one shot at the ship? Yeah, and all he's doing is sweating? This dude's on fire. This bitch. This bitch right here. And they're both dead now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. These ships didn't even have roofs on them, and they just slammed into each other. Yeah, what the fuck are you guys waiting for? <laughs> it's I stuff- wonder how they made it back at all. Yeah. And how he was so close to a um, trench. Yeah. Dude, he's right by enemy base. A yeah, deep no kidding. Nobody's doing anything. Literally like, nobody is stopping I mean, they them. might not be able to see them depending on how far up they are. No, he's, like, you're saying not one person from that height will like look over and like see the ship that crashed and like, oh, I wonder if anyone's still alive. Why would you stop me, Rose? Why? I saved you. I'm depressed! <laughs> 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 Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! This is like he definitely did not want. To. Yeah, yeah so, like uh, whoa, uh, Finn. We're gonna need to take that again, <laughs> or John. We're gonna need to take that again. You really didn't like that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I kind of don't get why. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't understand this whole thing. She was about to hand me. She was about to give me up to the mm. brig. If the roles were reversed and she looked disgusted like that. Yeah. You know there would be a me too. <laughs> well, that's why they had her kiss him. Yeah, exactly. They heard us. Again, we're just bashing Rose, not the actor. Actress. Wait, is it just actor now? I keep forgetting. Okay, actor it applies to both. Actor, actor is it's not It's just like, actor, okay. Actor is yeah. gender fluid, I'd say. Okay. Because yeah. I, yeah, I'm still, I'm still make that, I don't know if it's mistake or I just still nope. say it. Women always still use it too. They do, hey. Yep. Well, even in nominees, best actress, best actor. That's different. I think you're, cause you have to differentiate it somehow, right? Best actor in a supporting actor. Like saying supporting best. Role and best actor in a supporting role. Because then it's to say best male actor, best female yeah. actor. There you go. That's why I don't never Shit. saw a problem with actor and actress. Go. It's been a while. always comes and like pulls his hood off like he's such a badass. Mm. Yeah. Like such a fucking gangster just drops it. I'm just curious why his force projection actually was like clean cut and dark haired and he Oh like yeah, an everybody old... else looks like a blue bomb has just been spilt all well, maybe over them. Maybe cuz he's still alive. 
You're amazed he's still alive? No, I said maybe because Unless he's still alive. Unless his force projection is supposed to be his best version of himself, I guess you could say. I don't know. <laughs> be your best self. Was well, this one Leia was dead? Because she kind of looks like... She dead. looks dead? No, she just looks like CGI. I think she filmed everything. Mm. Yeah. And it then she passed away. I think he's right. But where they had to really work was in The Last Jedi, or The Rise of Skywalker, and give her the proper send-off there. In which case, that's where they had stand-ins and the kind of like what they did for Rogue One, where they With had Leia. like a body double, yeah. Yeah. which I think her, her daughter like... did a little bit, didn't she? And they just put her actually. Face. Well, well her, I know her she daughter's likes Billy Lord, the one with the two nubs here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even fucking pay attention to that. Yeah, oh, I think shit. yeah, but something like that with the CGI. And I mean, Rogue One wasn't clean, clean, but I think it was pretty good. I liked it. And theaters look good. And, and like even for the last five minutes, like the last five minutes are worth it. Like oh, yeah, just yeah. that part alone is just fuck yeah. yeah. America, fuck yeah. But more like the de aging and the, the CGI characters, because like the one admiral or general on the the dark side, mm-hmm. he was all CGI, I think. True story. This C3. was too um this part was too over the top to be cool i think in what way like he looks like he's supposed to look Mm -hmm. didn't they just hold hands and so she was able to like touch him in a way yeah but that's the whole point of the astro because even with kylo and ray they were able to touch right eventually once it it's just once they said yeah i guess i guess yeah yeah you're right they did have that and they're both force sensitive so it's not them touching it's their forces touching I would have found it, it seems cool like a just... thing you tell your parents who disapprove of you touching another female yeah. randomly through your uh, mind in your room. Maybe we're not oh. actually touching mom; we're just force touching. That's even worse. Wow. That wow. sounds way worse. Oh, that does sound worse. <laughs> you're doing what with force? No, Your Honor. They weren't just touching; they were force touching. <gasps> oh no! What will happen next? And shooting. I just thought he had really quick reflexes. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at that. Just so crazy. Yeah. You're right. It was over the top. Look at him. Look at him. More look at him. power. Look at him. Just screaming like crazy. <laughs> then he's like, ah, I'm spent. <laughs> like all that red, <laughs> like all that red dust and salt and crystallized mm. crystals, I guess, or powderized crystals in the air. I like there's like no reaction from the resistance. They're just like looking at this like, what the fuck? Not even sad. They might have actually killed him or he's dead. Also, did they open up the gate or is that gate already open? It's, bl- it's broken. Okay, so I'm pretty sure some blasters went through the fucking No, because it was, it was all down. Eh, there's gotta been one that went straight. Hmm. I think you're putting too much faith in the empires. I would say it would have been called. cool if he just like destroyed all the AT40s, just like oh, just like crunched them. them down. Yeah, yeah, that'd be sick. Oh, I remember this fucking scene. You didn't like it, right? No, because no, he, when he brushed off his shoulder, you didn't like that he brushed off his shoulder. It was just so cringy, man. <laughs> yeah, they need a little bit, you know. <laughs> He's doing it for I don't know who. How the fuck did he get her all the way there? Like so, while all of that was being blown apart. See, that's why it make like this. Up to this point, it was like I genuinely had just that one issue with Leia. Like other than that, it's like okay, but this kind of just like ruins it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mind it. Like I don't think it's as bad as I remember. Listen, I think the idea is cool. I just don't think the execution is good. Like I have no, I don't have that much of a problem with the ideas behind some of this stuff. Mm. Just the way that it was done. I think there were better ways to do it because it almost feels like all those little mini ships going after them was only so they can show the red spark, like the red lines. Like yeah. it was see, like when he that was serious, cave- it was like, okay, nice. Also, how was his cape staying on when he could throw it off so quickly in dragon bolts? Cause they have like a bunch of weights. Oh yeah. On the shoulder. Oh yeah. Do you think maybe the force is holding them in place like magnets? Well, the fucking force kept Darth Vader from flying at the end of Rogue One. Oh, yeah. It's almost like hard. Maybe the force is just hardcore core strength. It's just like really random and like what it allows you to do. Yeah. Mm. Like someone's been working on their calves with the force. So if they go to fall down, they actually are able to stabilize themselves from the knee down. (laughs) 
Maybe Michael Jackson had the force. That's what he was able to do in the Smooth Criminal music video. Mm-hmm. Look at that hole in the wall. I think that was the big blast, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah it was. That's a big door, too, mind you. So. It's a massive door. So. Very minor comparison. So maybe that's the thing. It looks like it's a big space, but it's actually not. Mm. There mm. we go. That whole messy mutiny leading to that. Yeah. You could have dealt with it easier before. Meanwhile, she's just, just going on a joyride. Yeah, no <laughs> shit, eh? She's been fucking taking a nap. Wouldn't she be able to see the giant fucking door? Yeah. She knows she didn't want to go from there. I guess. Start moving some rocks, homie. They've got blasters. I'm sure they could fucking blow up rocks. You think so? Yeah, they should be able to use their blasters. Mind you, they do ricochet off some armor. Ooh, one way to find out. <laughs> time to use the force. It's force time. Sounds forced. Ooh. I wonder what you do in that situation. So you know when you go up and there's two cars and you're about to do a, an exchange and then you blink your headlights? Mm-hmm. When you're standing across somebody holding your lightsaber and you're just looking at each other, when do you know when to go? Like, I mean, you know it's on. Yeah. (laughs) You should have blinked his hilts. (laughs) It's on now. Apologize (laughs) after they hurt you as a child. I'm sorry. Fuck you. (laughs) Whoever's lifting the rocks back there will be. (laughs) Ooh, those rocks don't look that great. The scene looks okay. Mm -hmm. But the CGI rocks are... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Listen, Ray, Rose kissed me. I didn't kiss her. <laughs> Is this thing still going to happen? Uh, actually, me and uh, Kylo Ren had this weird kind of force thing going on. Yeah. So. Uh, me and Kylo Ren almost hold, held hands, so we're pretty much marrying. Yeah. yeah. It's like she won't be with him because he's not force sensitive. Like such a heartbreaking thing. Yeah. No joke, he he could play a good young Snape if there ever was a Harry Potter prequel yep. where so the storyline was with him. Marilyn Manson and Snape would be <laughs> yeah. him for sure. Alan Rickman. And his voice is super deep. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that'll help or not, but he can do the Alan Rickman pretty good. Mm-hmm. Feels, like, you know feels when, the exact pain. You know when people like feel ghosts pass through them yeah. and they feel cold? I think it's more strain on the thing, but like, just like to keep the projection. Yeah, just keep the projection going. Just lots of big fart. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was doing. He's been holding it for so long. Yeah. And he finally releases his astral form, which is really just a giant fart. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he just took the worst shit in the world right now. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> he was never again. Hi, uh, this week on Hot Ones, we've got Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Looks like he uh, could have used a force on that last wing. <laughs> oh no, Master Luke's dying. Oh Sending no! Sending a text message, if you will. <laughs> Bloop. I am ahead out. <laughs> uh, new phone. Who this? <laughs> Gone leaving. <laughs> so she's looking at her, looking at him, mm-hmm. looking at looking her. at the yeah. sun <laughs> or them. Oh yeah, they did the two. Oh, I forgot see. that the first time. Wow. When did they do that? Remember in the in A New Hope where he looks up and it's the two moons? Oh, no. Not even good. I think that's what that was, yeah. but cool, mm-hmm. cool. I don't remember. Remember. Oh. I wonder if they're going to have like a Luke Skywalker remember scene <laughs> with Ray. He'll have an astro for sure. Yeah. I think he'll for sure have an astro projection yeah. and or like... um. Yeah, astral projection. Yep. Because he would have embraced everything. Mm-hmm. I wonder how he keeps his hair so slick. Mm. Like, I wonder what they use for hair products in the Star Wars world. Like, they never established that. <laughs> and where do they get them, you know? Where do they get them? What do they use for volume? Do they just put their heads next to, like, some compressor thing or, like, a fan and just, like, you know? Doesn't seem like they have blow dryers or straighteners. I mean, Kylo's claim to fame at this point is failing and volume. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his curls. Let's not forget his curls. That sucks. So what were those things in his hand? Uh, those were dice that uh, were always in the Millennium Falcon. Oh. And I think they were kind of established where he got them from in Solo. Mm. I just can't remember for exactly. 
I still hate the fact that she snubbed Chewie in the Force Awakens. And by hate, I mean I just think it was just it was funny that it happened. Yeah. They had never met. And I guess not. <laughs> it's Mr. Steel Girl. <laughs> Damn, that'd be disrespectful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poe sweeps in. <laughs> Who stole all those books? Watch, they're gonna give Finn. Did you Rose. see those books? Those yeah, like... she stole the Jedi text. Who did? Oh the yeah, sacred text. She put it in there. Never mind. Yeah, I remember that scene now. This is how much I'm paying attention. Mm-hmm. That braid is crazy. That Leia is rocking right now. That's going across her head. Mm-hmm. It's almost like we need something circly to make people remember that you're Princess Leia and the earmuffs or the cinnamon buns in the ears aren't yeah. it. We need the rise of Skywalker. Yeah! Isn't that like Kylo Ren, though? I don't know. Maybe. But it looks like they should really make sure that that kyber crystal doesn't fall out of that lightsaber. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, man. So in Fallen Order, there is a scene that is like, dude... There is there is a scene and it's like really good and it has to do with lightsabers and kyber crystals and all that. Dope. I'll have to get that from you. Yeah, it's fucking. Uh, it was such a good Star Wars moment. You know, the first time I watched this, I never noticed that the kid. Wait, so that kid had a force. Yeah. Me neither. And everyone was saying that the kid's force sensitive. I'm like, how? What are you talking about? <laughs> are we watching the same movie? Fuck you. Earth. Yeah. No shit. And it was, but it was more subtle. And yeah. I saw it now, and I'm like, that's good. See, I never got that either. Fuck. See, I don't see why the hell are they doing this. Wasn't it you? Oh, who gave him that? Rose. Rose gave him the ring. Yeah. Remember she showed him. Yeah. Fuck. You're right. See. (laughs) I think you're on your phone. (laughs) Because this is what Canto (laughs) fight. Oh man. That's a lot longer than I remember it being. (sighs) Not as shit. Not as shit as I remember it being. No, do you like it better? Oh yeah, Vasily. Ah, oh, it was. Do you I like it better it. than the last time though? Me? Yeah, like you liked it before. Do you like it yeah. better now? Or do yeah, you... again, I I've watched it so many times now that it's like this. It's oh, whatever. we're not going a double screening there, buddy. Oh no, I was gonna, just gonna keep it going for background music, but whatever. No, no, no. You can well, you can just close this thing out, anyways. Ooh, ah. Spider Man Homecoming. Still on here, yep. Fuck. No, that was much better. I'm actually ex- I'm excited for the third one. Rise yeah, of Skywalker. Oh, new episodes of Shameless. Sweet. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to watch Force Awakens, though. No? Well, it's because c- then I'll probably have to watch The Last Jedi just to be the, one of those, like... Again? <laughs> yeah, just be that, be that one bitch who's like, oh, I need to be... No, fuck it. I'll just watch a recap of Last Jedi before I go, and I'll see Force Awakens. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I, I saw this one, so then I'm ready to go for the other one. Um, no, that was... Oh, this is on here. What? Nice. The Green. Since when did they add this? Probably like today. Yeah, it was no pro- likely very recently. Um, no, I thought that was about the same, maybe a little bit better, just because little moments that I missed. Mm-hmm. The things that bug me still bug me, but I knew they bugged me before, so it's not anything too too new. Uh, overall, yeah, no, it's good, and um. I don't know. With all the fucking Star Wars stuff that's been going on between the Mandalorian, Fallen Order, and this, I'm yeah. like, I'm like train? in, I'm in the, tra- I'm in the train more than when yeah. Force Awakens came out in the Last Jedi. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll have to so. do this for Solo, and you guys might find stuff you actually like. <laughs> you like Solo? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I didn't. Well, we I didn't it. hate it. I just, I just, I just was around it. We got to do it for Guardians too. I think that'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah. That's in fact if this ends up working out. So whoever's been listening to this whole thing, yeah. we appreciate it. Dude, two and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. No, not just Good that. On you. People people <laughs> may have listened to like the deep dives that right that are mm-hmm. two and a half hours. Um But like I don't know. The fact if you are still at the end of this with us, then good for you. Good on you. Uh, we really appreciate it. And send us an email if this is something that you actually enjoyed listening to. Uh, and if, in fact, you did watch the movie while we were kind of watching the movie. Um, if it is, then sweet. We can plan to do it again, I think. Mm-hmm. What did you guys think? I know it's he different. was watching Suits during that outro. I caught you. Go for no, it. caught you. <laughs> I have nice um, content for you to release on the podcast Instagram. Wow. Uh, anyways, so... Yeah, if you guys, I don't know, how did, what did you guys think of this? Of the format? I thought it was yeah. fun as fuck. It was, yeah, yeah, it was fun. good. Oh, yeah. It was good. I it, think, honestly, it's I like, got, it fits the, the vibe part, of the show. Listen, the hard part is when you're just watching it mm-hmm. and it's blank. If people were legitimately, like, yeah. watching it with us, like you were saying, there might be the odd person. Like, I don't know. Act, 
I don't know who would do it, but if there was the odd person that was doing it, then it'd be a lot more fun with them because it's interactive. Well, that's what I thought the whole idea was. Because I know it actually is like it's not just me. Like this is a format that people yeah. do do. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> do do. But they do it on YouTube too. Like I don't know how many people actually do it just audio. So that's the mm-hmm. hard part. Because if they're driving and they have those lulls, because mm-hmm. we're paying attention to what's happening. But I think there's a balance of having it loud enough on the TV screen. Yeah. That they can hear it. Mm-hmm. So that we might have been able to hit it. I just got sidetracked. I was watching it more than paying attention to whatever question I you know. had in your head, and I was like, I don't care. I'm just watching this right now. <laughs> so yeah, we'll leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm calling this episode the experiment. All right, I think that's what uh, it's because that's what it is. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah. So if you have been listening, thanks again. Uh, as usual, you can always find me or find us at the F Word Podcast on Instagram. Go to Lazy Canadian on Instagram. The F Word Podcast on Facebook. You can email us at the F Word Podcast at gmail dot com. Find me uh, the F Words G on Twitter. And also, forgive me for the sound if it is sounding different. This is the first time using the Zoom H six. It is a really beast machine, but I haven't learned it fully to its full potential so i'm hoping you know with a few tweaks it's going to get better and better so uh yeah this one was an all-around experiment of an episode Mm -hmm. and we got one more next week and then we're going to be off for two weeks yes so next week yeah next week uh the 20th yeah oh yeah we're doing it right before yeah we're gonna do we're gonna do it before i i don't know just an episode holiday special type of episode we could figure out what we want to do and then uh yeah that's it. Cool. Okay. All right. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of The F Word. And uh, I guess I could throw it in now. Conexus, SAS Podcast Network, Podcast Network. And here we go. I'm G. It's your boy, Anthony. And Vass. And we are out. Yeah.